What's going on, people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another live watch along in what has been a long, long week for Arsenal Football Club, man. A lot of twists and turns, and uh, yeah, not been the best seven days, man. And uh, listen, can they turn it around? Can they, well, keep themselves somehow within this title race against a, a very depleted Wolf side, by the way? So, um, Listen, the club have no excuses today. Wolves have a number of players missing. And if you can't beat this Wolves team, genuinely, you don't deserve to be in a title race. But listen, we've got to put the pressure on. Um, you know, Manchester City don't play until Thursday night. Arsenal play tonight and Tuesday. Um, so two wins in the next two games would um, would get Arsenal six points clear of Manchester City. with No, four points clear of Man City with two games in hand. Um, so yeah, that's all we can do. So it's one game at a time. Um, I have to admit the feeling, and I don't know if it feels different for anybody else. I feel a lot different, um, for this watch along in this game than I did against Bayern Munich and Aston Villa. Um, I do feel a little bit more flat, to be honest. Um, don't feel as hyped. I'm sure when the game starts and we miss a chance or we score a chance, the hype will come. But I've got to be honest right now, the way I feel, I'm kind of just going through the motions until the end of the season. I mean, that guy, D said dejected. And I think that's the word. You know, it's like a balloon, you know, the balloon, you've let it go. And it's just made that noise and all the ears come out of it. Like, I'm flat as a pancake right now, people. But, you know, we, we would try and win six out of six and see what happens with City. That's the best we can do, people. Um, Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe. If you haven't already, we're in subscriber-only mode, red carpet business. And uh, let's talk about the Arsenal team. Um, I've said to myself, genuinely, you know, sometimes you have to communicate with yourself. I've said to myself, do not get too frustrated today. Don't get too irate. It's genuinely not worth it. It's not worth it at this point. Um, but, you know, let's see how the game goes. Let's discuss the team. A lot of people wanted changes today. Um, of course, as I'm doing this game, as we're live at the moment, Manchester City against uh, Chelsea is going on FA Cup semi-final at Wembley, uh, about 66 minutes gone, still nil-nil in that one. Um, let's talk about the Arsenal team. Um, I wanted to see changes today. Um, I mean, listen, let's discuss them. You give me your opinions. And I am frustrated. I've got to be honest. And again, I don't want this. I want it to be positive. It's match day, but... As an Arsenal fan, you must be frustrated watching Chelsea versus Man City at Wembley playing for an FA Cup final. Like, and this is what I've always said with Arteta. I think if you can't get the Champions League and the Premier League, you should not be turning your nose up at this. Even the Carabao Cup. Pep won the Carabao Cup how many times? He never acted snobby about it. Wow, Chelsea one on one. Chelsea won it. Oh, they've messed it up. What is that? They're finishing. Honestly, if Nicholas Jackson shot Tupac, Tupac would be um, making his 10th album this year. Oh, that was Kai Sado. He, he can't shoot either. Um, anyway, let's talk about the team, people. Um, Rare in goal. Ben White at right back. Kivior back in at left back. I mean, at the moment, the sort of the, the left back situation's a mess. It's like being offered three dinners that you didn't like as a kid. And all you're doing is picking the one that you dislike um, the least. You know, it's like Kivio Zinchenko or Tomiyasu. It's like, I mean, ugh, Zinchenko can't really defend. Kivio can't really get on the ball and ain't great defensively. And then you've got Tomiyasu who's a natural right back. It's like, it, as, I, as I always say, it's bread back dinner, people. You know, there's nothing pretty about it. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so Kivio comes in at left back. Saliba and Gabriel at centre back. Rice, Odegaard. And listen, it's Saturday night. Everyone deserves a treat. You've had a long week at work. It's Saturday night. Arteta said, here are everyone. Enjoy Havertz in midfield. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Mikel. <laughs> Thank you. I, I said I'm going to stay calm. I don't want to aggravate people. Um, Saturday night, 29 in midfield. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of good good things I've watched over the years on a Saturday night. X Factor. Um, what else did uh, Saturday night? I mean, Silla Black. Um, Blind Date. 
You know, there's been many programs over the years, but Saturday night, 29. Gladiators, Awuga! John Fashion, who settings, but 29 in midfield on a Saturday night. I don't know. I don't know what I can really compare that to. Um, yeah, don't try this at home, you know what I mean? Gladiators. Um, hey, it is what it is. It is what, maybe he's had a great week in training. Um, <laughs> Listen, I, I I want Arteta's bank account checked. I really do. I think Man City are dropping millions in his account. This is sabotage. Um, Saka, Trossard, Jesus, front three. Listen, where are these guys playing? I haven't got a clue. On paper, they've listed it as Jesus through the middle with Trossard on the right, uh, on the left, and Saka on the right. It could be Trossard up front. It could be Havertz up front. I'm not even going to guess. I don't even want to guess, to be honest. I don't even have the energy to think about it after the last week. So he'll be he's somewhere on the pitch, right? Jesus is somewhere, Havertz is somewhere, Trossard is somewhere. After the last seven days, I, I don't even have tactics to discuss for you. Yeah, this is like when you used to go shop as a kid and you bought a pick a mix, 10p, 20p, you just hoped there was a number of sweets in there that you really liked. Yeah, and that's what this is. This is a pick a mix today. I don't know what's in that bag. Um, but Ola said, uh, you said it, if how if Saka can breathe, he starts. He'll never get a rest. He ain't resting. He ain't getting no rest. If he can physically breathe and walk, he's playing. I have no tactics, people. No tactics. But on paper, yeah, no likey, no lighty. Yeah, you're right, bro. You're right. Uh, the... <laughs> Oh, dear. No donkey, no lighty, people. 29, eh? But, hey, is what it is. Just win the game. And I always say winning fixes everything in football. Right now, my enthusiasm levels for Arsenal are on minimal. I'm, I'm only just about here for the sake of the community. I'll be honest. And listen, if we win today and we beat Chelsea on Tuesday, we go to Tottenham and beat them, I'm a different person seven days later. It's like the Craig David song. Monday, took her for a drink on Tuesday. So, you know, the week got progressively better. Yeah? We were making love on Wednesday and all that. We chilled on Saturday. You know what I mean? The week got better. You met her on Monday, Tuesday, went for a drink. And then it just went from strength to strength. Right now, you know, it's... It just feels like that Monday right now. You know what I'm saying? So maybe in seven days, we're having a different conversation. By the way, happy 420 to all the Rasta man them. I tell you what, you know, I don't smoke myself, but being an Arsenal fan, I can understand why some people probably do. Um, so enjoy 420 people, you know. It's a, it's a mad one still. It is a mad one being an Arsenal fan. As I've said, I'm pretty sure at some stage... Somebody jumps out with a camera and says, listen, you know, you thought being an Arsenal fan was normal, but actually it's a social experiment to see how much punishment you could take as a football fan. Um, you know, they put them in a lab, created Thierry and Burkamp, threw them on the pitch, knew we couldn't resist. Then we got Bentner, Andre Santos and Mustafi and, and they know we're hooked now, people. You know, it's where we are. Um we're, we're here. We're here. Let me read out these super chats. Flying Dutchman, everyone calm down. Tired of all the negativity. Support Arsenal through the wins and losses or go support another club. Listen, I just want to say with that comment, right? And I, I appreciate the super chat. I say this all the time. Supporting a football club is like being a family member or a parent or a friend. If you're a... You know your real friend. Let me tell you the difference with your real friend, right? You know if, you know if you're eating food or something, and you got some food around your mouth or something like that, right? You know a some, you know an acquaintance, an acquaintance will see that bit of sandwich in the corner of your mouth, or you know you've dribbled a bit of your drink down your top. You know the acquaintance, the acquaintance won't say nothing. They'll leave you there because they think it's awkward. They go, boy, a bit of sandwich in the corner of your mouth, bit of you know. Bit of Vimto down your shirt, but I'm not going to say nothing. You know, you're a real brethren, you're a real friend, you know. Your real friend will say, oh, bro, you got wipe this, man. What are you dealing with? You say, oh, my bad, my bad. Let me get a tissue and wipe it. Not everything's pretty in a, in a, in a friendship, in a relationship, people. Ups and downs. This, this mindset that's just support the club. And, and, the, and I get that, but the way it's portrayed sometimes is, don't you dare say anything bad about the football club. Just 
take whatever's given, enjoy it, and just, ah, oh, you're not a real support. Support is your brother. You're doing wrong right now. Fix up. That's what your real, your real friend will tell you when you're doing wrong. And the person who you might just know and you might have been out on a night out and you, they, they'll leave you with that food on the side of your lip. Leave you looking like a fool. Do you know what I mean? Constructive criticism is part of football. I've been in the game. Managers criticise players every day. You didn't train well enough. You didn't track back. You didn't get enough crosses in. You missed chances. You didn't lay the ball across the area. Football is the most ruthless sport you will ever get involved in. It is brutal. It's like a meat market. They will drop you when you are not useful to them anymore. People say, you know, oh, players when they leave... They're not loyal. Football clubs are even worse. So I appreciate your super chat, but I'm just saying context, bro. People have to understand sometimes constructive criticism is not turning your back on your club. You know, you want the best for them. Tell them. There's some sandwich around your lip, brother. Wipe it. Uh, Marco said, Ray J settings today. Big up the community. Yeah, I mean, one wish outside the... The gal's yard in the rain, we are not. We can't be doing that. We can't be. In the, I just want this to be a 3 or 4 nil and go about my Saturday night. I'm not looking for this to be some Porto and we're winning 1 nil late on. They've got a whole leap of players missing tonight, Wolves. We need to turn them into some puppies today. Brian, big up Curtis and Cruz. If we are up, I better see ESR and part A in at 60 minutes. Saka can't be dropped. I'm in a place where if we win, we win. Passionless, 3-1 gunners, casual watch along set. I'll be leaning back like Fat Joe today. Trust me. You might see me with my arm up just, just, just chilling like this watching the game. I'm not going to allow him to mash up my Saturday. I'm, I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to try. Jerome said big up Big C in the community. Arsenal have to win the game and put in a performance. I would love to see a win and a performance. If we only get the win, I will take the win with a not good performance. This is now results time over performance. If you can perform as well, then cool. Uh, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, says Cheesenberg. You're right, bro. You are right. We can't keep doing the same thing. Something's got to change to get us over that finish line. Ronaldo Bailey, big up C-Unit. What do you think of the Drake diss track and Chris Brown? Again, you know, sometimes you sit there, don't you? And you think, am I just getting older? Do I have to embrace the new generation? You know, Cruz always listening to hip hop. I'm like, what's this mumble rap man future? I can't even hear what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? This ain't hip hop. Travis Scott, you know, with the auto tune. This ain't it. This ain't rap. But then you think, you know what, I just have to embrace it for what it is. And today I sat there as a hip-hop fan. I heard the Drake diss. Man's using AI to do Drake diss. I said, raw, the game's gone mad. I heard Chris Brown drop a diss to Quavo at Amigos. It's, it's a more aggressive diss than what the rappers are putting out. The R&B guy that's, you know, doing love songs is putting out a harder diss record than so-called hardcore rappers. It's all flipped on its head. I don't know what's going on. The world is crazy right now, people. I don't know where, I don't know what this is anymore. I might just need to go and move to the mountains and listen to Mob Deep. Cause this, I, I don't know. But it's a banging track. Chris Brown went crazy, by the way. He went mad. Um, bodied by a singer. Yeah, yo, the, the diss track was, it was proper. It was proper. What you have to understand with a lot of these R&B guys, just because they're R&B and they're singing, they got people around them. They got money. They got money, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, but it is what it is. Ghoster, do you think Big Tets is spamming Saka in the starting eleven to rinse him and get his worth before he sells him? No, I don't think so. I don't think he has any belief in the, in the other right wingers. The only natural right winger is Reese Nelson. And he doesn't believe in Reese Nelson. I doubt he even wanted to keep Reese Nelson. What you've got to understand sometimes, you've got to have a certain amount of English players in your squad, right? So if you get to a situation where we go, right, Reese Nelson's contract's up this year. And you go, all right, we can give him a new deal, 100 bags a week, four-year deal, right? But he's hardly going to kick a ball. If we sell him, we've got to buy an English player. We talk about English tax all the time. It's cheaper to give Nelson a hundred grand a week 
than it is to go and buy Conor Gallagher for 50 million or 45 million or or buy, I don't know, what English player, you know, James Ward-Prowse for 40 million or whatever. So I think that's what it is. I think Nketiah, I think Nelson, they're there to make up the English numbers and that's it. Um, which is why I think Arsenal will sign an English player this summer because you're looking at Nketiah, Nelson, Ramsdale um, and ESR, who I think Arsenal will probably listen to offers for all of those guys. So I'd expect to see an English player sign this summer. Um, but I don't think they want to sell Saka. Your analogies are on par with our PRT. I try, young gunner. I have to lift the spirit somehow, you know. And Anthony said, too many gatekeepers in our fan base who want to tell others how to support their club because they're too soft to take criticism. Go, sir. Bro, I tell people all the time. If you follow me on Twitter, you know. You see it, people. The grenades get let off. And then the comments, they go crazy. I don't care. I'll speak my truth. I don't care about no one on Twitter. I'll bond them. Can't tell me how to support my club. Where's the rule book? Where's the rule book? No next brother can tell anyone else how to support the football club. You rate Havertz, that person don't rate Havertz. You rate Raya, the next person don't rate Raya. You rate Arteta, the next person don't rate Arteta. I think man can tell man who how you should think and operate as a fan of your club. Bond them, I don't care. Support the club the way you want to support the club. Don't let no one tell you nothing. Simple as that. Bond them. Everybody trying to play the PR role, man. Everyone, Everyone's a journalist online nowadays. You know what I mean? I don't care about that. I ain't trying to write for no newspaper. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, TM1 said, uh, why does Arteta keep forcing Kai down out for <laughs> No diddy, bro. Listen, let me tell you something. You spend £65 million on this guy, right? Cronkays aren't stupid. You don't become a billionaire for no reason. Multi, multi billionaire. 65 million, highest paid player at the football club, right? Five year contract, lot of question marks over why he was signed. He can't bench him. He has to, he's going to keep forcing him. And it stinks. It's horrible. Playing him up front, false nine, I mean, I don't even really like that, but it worked for a short period of time. Havertz in midfield is an absolute disaster. It's a disaster, people. It, it, it ain't going to work. Uh, and that's my problem. If you was playing him up front and you go, okay, he did all right up front, I'm not happy, but I can understand. You're playing him in midfield, it's a write-off. It's a Cat D on Auto Trader. It's a good car, but you don't go anywhere near it. Dodgy engine, and it's making a rattling sound. Um, so, yeah, it, it, he's got to justify. It's one of his big money signings. People are questioning it. White Glove said, imagine Saka and Odegaard at eight. Kai up top, Jesus. I actually think Saka could play attacking midfield. I think he'd do all right there. Them driving runs through the middle, can go left, can go right. But, you know, he's, he's not going to do it. Jude said, Cruz is the same age as my son. Bless him. Big up, bro. Um, David said, after Tuesday, I've been going through five stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. Today, today, just confusion. Make it make sense. Listen, do you know the biggest pat on the back I can give? Big up, David, by the way. Appreciate the super chat, bro. You know the biggest pat on the back I can give to every one of you in the community today? I'm going to tell you the biggest compliment I can give all of you. You're here again. You're here again. That tells you what you are. That, and that's why I say to people, I say all the time, people focus more on the club and what they're doing than what a fan is doing of the club. Oh, should be a goal. Goal to Manchester City. Bernardo Silva. Seven minutes to go. Scores at the back post. And Manchester City look like they're heading for the FA Cup final. Chelsea, they've held out for 83 minutes. But Nicholas Jackson up front. You might as well have Janet Jackson up front. She might have scored one of his chances, I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, Bernardo Silva, who this week, this week they've been saying, they reckon has probably already verbally agreed to join Barcelona in the summer. Um, but yeah, they've looked dangerous since Doku's come on. That pace down that side, and Man City are beating Chelsea. That'll be Chelsea's season over. I wonder if Poch will get um, sacked. Might not even get in Europe. No trophies. You know what I mean? 
Back post, unmarked, off Cucurea. Um The Spanish, you whizzy. But hey, 1-0 to, um, to City. I've, I've lost all my train of thought there. Oh, right, let me go back. 2,000 of you in the chat already, right? What I wanted to say was the biggest compliment I can give to every one of you is that you've turned up. You've turned up again. It, you know, no matter what the club have been through this week, no matter how disappointed you've been, angry you've been, frustrated you've been, you've turned up again. You're supporting your club on Saturday night. Intrigue alone is going to make you watch the game. You're not going to go about your business and not watch the game. you got to watch the game. The reality is, and I'm speaking facts, right? Whether this is my opinion or not, I've got to speak facts. Arsenal are still in the title race. Now, whether you have that belief deep down that they're going to win the title is a whole different question. But we are two points behind Man City with six games to go. No matter what I think, no matter what you think, no matter what anybody thinks, them 11 players starting today have to have the belief that they can still win the title. Right? They have to. I'm probably saying I don't know if you're going to win the league because of what I've seen year after year after year after year. If I see the same thing consistently, I'm going to believe that that's the reality of this football club. But those players have to turn around and say, well, I haven't lost the league for four or five years. I maybe one or two title races. So they have to... Listen, I've watched Man City this season and this is another part of the frustration. And I know we say this every year, but I, I genuinely believe it this year. This season, Manchester City have not been the same Manchester City. And we say that every year, and then we think, okay, by the time it gets to April, they'll go on a run, they'll clean up everything. Man City just got beat against Real Madrid with no with no out-and-out -out striker at the top of the pitch, right? Okay, they're going to win this. They'll probably still end up winning the double, and I don't think they've looked as good. Haaland hasn't been at his best this year. Was injured for seven weeks. He's injured today as well. De Bruyne was out for five months. You know, people saying Bernardo hasn't been as good on his way to Barcelona. Grealish hasn't played as much. They have not been as good this year. They're still great. Their standards are still through the roof. They'll still get close to 90 points. But when they're talking about signing Musiala and Kimmich and some other players I'm seeing them linked with, I think they get even better next season. So we've got to do it. You, sometimes you've got to grab that opportunity, you know? West London's fine. It's just got my missus up the duff with this stream on in the back. Hey, at least someone's hitting the target, bro. You know what I mean? Unlike Nicholas Jackson. Um, they have Pep and, that, and that's it. They do have Pep. They do have Pep. Listen, no matter what I think, Factually, Arsenal can still win the league. To do that, they are going to have to win six games. Sometimes in life, you have to turn a non-believer to a believer. I say that again, people. This is my life lessons that I'm letting loose on the channel on this Saturday evening. Forget football. We're talking life here. Sometimes you have to turn a non-believer into a believer. And that's what this team have to do in the next six games. I hope you win every game. I'm here because I believe you're capable. But do I think you're going to win six? I'm not sure. Because of what's happened in the last seven days and maybe the last ten years. But they have to turn non-believers into believers. I say it all the time. Winning fixes everything in football. Bad player. You win a game. All of a sudden, you start capping for that player. I was doing it. Havertz. Couldn't stand him. Had a good run. Oh, yeah, killer Kai. Green screens. Giving him his flowers. Now I'm kind of back in the same place with him where I'm like, nah. win the game and we keep moving. It has to be one game at a time. And I'm sorry, but tonight you have to win this game. You have got to win this game of football. As a fan, if we don't win tonight, it's devastating. And as a content creator, you are dunking on our head. Like Shaq when he was at Orlando Magic or the Lakers, if you don't win this. Because if you don't win this, season lock off. Everything's mashup if you don't win this game. You have got to win this game of football. And listen, Wolves are not very good at the moment. I don't want to create a narrative here to set us up. One win in their last five in the league, two draws, two defeats. They're 11th in the table. They're depleted as well today. 
So, I mean, what more could we ask for? They're missing players. They're out of form. They've basically got nothing to play for because they're not getting relegated. They're not getting Europe. If you can't beat this team that's probably half on the beach, then I I, I don't know. I, I've, re I've got no answers for anybody. I couldn't... If we don't beat these, I can't even deliver you Arsenal therapy. I just can't. Like, you have to beat this team today. There's no excuse for not beating this team. And I personally think we will. I do think we will beat this team. Um, but I really hope we do. Corner to Chelsea. Mudrick's on. It's cleared. What was Ben Chilwell doing there? He was treading water in the deep end and struggling, by the way. Um, so we got a win. We got a win. Curtis, remember Kevin Campbell said it's the players. I do need to get Kev back on the channel. Big up, Kev. I was just looking there. Oh, listen, Arsenal have got one injury in the entire squad, right? which is uh, Yuri and Timber. I did say, then I, last week I'd been told that Timber was going to play under 23s. It's under 21s, actually. He's playing on Monday. So hopefully we get Timber in the next couple of weeks. Um, so we've got one injury in the entire squad, which is Timber. Wolves are missing um, Craig Dawson, Bellegarde, Shiwani, Mateus Cunha, uh, Samedo, Pedro Neto and Noah. I mean, Semedo, very good right back for them. Neto, probably their best player. Dawson, solid centre-back. And Cunha, in fact, one of their best players as well. We couldn't ask for much more than what we've got. I mean, I looked at the Wolves lineup today. I think this uh, Chichirawa, is it? They've got teenagers starting. Genuinely, they've got young bucks starting today. This Chirawa, um, and they've got about four teenagers on the bench. So, listen, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, Tomeyasu is not on the bench today. Um, it looks like maybe he didn't deal with the Leroy Sané situation as well as I thought. I said, oh, I did all right against Leroy Sané. Um, he's got a knock. I reckon that's one of them where you've just, you've been ram ragged. You've flown back from Germany. You haven't started for a while. You're knackered. You're telling the physio, ow, it hurts. You know, you're getting a rub down on your leg. You say, oh, well, that hurts, man. And you're just like, I don't want to play. You don't want the smoke. Let him have a break. It's cool. I got no problem. Listen, you can't go on the football pitch and do the splits and think nothing's going to happen. Brother, I thought it was like begging on your knees to be popular and a dream to be popular. Oh, I don't know what was going on there. Man had man doing front flips, back flips and the splits. It was all mad. Uh, he's another player, you know. Last summer I said it and I changed my mind. I think you've got to start asking questions over Tomeyasu. Honestly, I do. I said it I said it 2 years ago. This football club has to stop feeling sorry for injured players. And we go, "Oh yeah, but when they're fit, they're good." Bon all of that talk. I'm not interested in that. If you're not available, you know, this guy doesn't even start every week and he still gets injured. Tommy Asu, 17 games this season. 17 games out of 32. He's missed 50. In fact, let me break this down. Tommy Asu, first season, 21 games. Misses 17 games through injury, right? Second season, mirror image, 21 games. Misses 17 games through injury, second season. Third season, he's missed 15. And I take it back, he's missed one, one through suspension, 14 games through injury. So he's missed 17 and 17, 34, and then 14. He's missed 48 games in three seasons. Now, I'm sorry, I like Tommy Asu, right? But giving him a new contract with that injury record, you are seriously lucky, bro. Seriously lucky. I know people will say he's a squad player and he can be used in rotation. But, brother, you don't even play every week and you're injured half the time. I don't even understand that. I don't even know how that happens. Um, but he's out with a knock. So, yeah, it's Kivior again. Um, let me go through these super chats. Elton, uh, big up for the super chat, bro. He said, Big C, you got me thinking seriously on what you said last week about the Invincibles generation. And 100% we have under underperformed with this generation the trophy cabinet should contain at least three more premier leagues and two champions league it's one of my controversial opinions wenger underachieved you can't have a team that's good enough to be invincible not lose one game in an entire season 
you didn't win multiple amounts of Premier Leagues and 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 Champions Leagues. You know, it's crazy. But this is why I always say, I know they say you've got to strike while the iron's hot. We've got a very good team now. You should be winning games while you've got you should be winning trophies while you've got a very good team. You've got to sometimes you've got to learn how to win. If you can't win a Champions League, win the Prem. If you can't win the Prem, win the FA Cup. If you can't win the FA Cup, win the Carabao Cup. It wouldn't do Arsenal any harm to go to Wembley, play Man United, beat them in an FA Cup final. Saka scores the winner, Martinelli scores the winner, Odegaard sets up the winner, whatever. That's going to boost you as a player walking up the Wembley steps. A lot of these players have not won trophies at Arsenal. We forget that. That 2020 FA Cup, a lot of these guys weren't at Arsenal. So they need to learn how to win and get over the finish line. City look tired. Premier League is still open. I think it is. As I say always, HR, the problem is not Man City. The problem is Arsenal. To win the league, we've got to win six out of six. Are we capable of that? If we win six out of six, I think City could draw with somebody. And we win the title on, on goal difference. But it's about us, bro. It's about us. Guy XRP, my biggest fear is we end up sacking Arteta in three years and he ends up like Wenger's last seven or eight and end up in a cycle, your thoughts? The biggest thing you have to be able to do as a football club is recognise when a player should be moved on and recognise when a manager should be moved on. That's, that's why Pep is the best manager on the planet because he doesn't keep a player at the club too long. Sometimes he gets rid of a player and you go, yo, He's just had a good season, but Pep knows like, yo, the expiry date's around the corner. It's like when you've got the milk. It'll say like the 20th on it, but even on the 19th, you know, you open the lid and you go, hmm, that smells a little bit funny, you know. I ain't really trying to put that on the cereal. Um, even though I don't really eat cereal, Eddie Abu settings people. Um, but yeah, you know, I feel like Pep knows when the expiry date's due. Where us... We got bread that's three days out of date talking about, oh, put it in the toaster and just burn off the mould. That's what we're doing. El Nenny's like four years out of date. We're putting it in the toaster and trying to burn off all the green bits around the edges. It don't make sense. Like Jorginho, bro, just let him go in the summer, man. 32, he should be in. He should be playing for, I don't know, Torino in Italy, bro. I don't want him starting against Bayern Munich for Arsenal. But uh, that, that's, the, that's the biggest, one of the biggest strengths of, of Pep. Seriously, oh, well, yeah, Eddie, Eddie, man, hey, <laughs> big old Eddie Abbott, he's a big Arsenal fan, isn't he? Cancelo, Jesus, Sinchenko, when we sign Sinchenko and Jesus, I'm sitting there going, yo, I'm sitting there like this, yo, we just hustled Pep, man got Jesus for 45 million, Brazilian international, yo, 15 goals at City, he's going to score 20 at Arsenal, Chaga Benito, Sinchenko, baller, Ukraine, centre mid, left back, title winner. Yo, we've robbed them. I'm sitting here two years later saying, yo, Pep should be arrested. That was fraud. In broad daylight, the left back can't defend and the striker can't score. We got ripped off. But at the time, I was rubbing my hands together saying, yo, what a deal that is. Pep knows, bro. Look at Sterling at Chelsea. Look at him. Don't look like the same player. You know what I'm saying? So, is what it is. Who swears more, Laurie or Eddie Abu? Big up, Laurie. Uh, yeah, one thing I don't really do is swear. I don't like swearing. Uh, Ghost had said, last year all over again, Curtis, don't make me believe. Because it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. Nelly settings, people. Nelly settings. We think about it over and over again. And it hurts so bad. Them old school R&B bangers, bro. They don't know. They don't know. Um, that was real R&B. Hey, big up, big up Sox Gaming, man. Mate, enjoy the money. Take Cruz out to Harry Potter land or something. Or buy that City shirt. Best real content creator out there. How is party not starting? Hey, big up for the kind donation, bro. £100. Listen, I appreciate anybody who donates. Give me 79p, 40p, £100. Appreciate it, but big up, bro. Man City have won, by the way. They're in the cup final. Probably be Man United, Manchester Derby. A repeat of last year if United beat Coventry. Uh, big up Sox Gaming. I'm assuming somebody just said in the chat um, that you've got a YouTube channel. 
Um, I think somebody just put a link in the chat for your channel. So make sure you go and uh, support that. And I always say this, by the way, if any of you guys in the chat I've got a YouTube channel or anything. Feel free to, um, yeah, he's got a channel, uh, Socks Gaming, uh, Gaming World of Warships. Yeah, go and support him, man. Go and support, get his numbers up. Anyone in the comments, you ever make a channel, YouTube channel, you got a business, you got a clothing line, you got a whatever, feel free, chuck it in the comments. You know, we're, we're on a, we're trying to build a strong community here. So yeah, man, there's the link. Big up that guy D for throwing it in there. Big up. Um, but yeah, big up socks game and keep doing your thing, bro. Appreciate that. Hey, Harry Potter land. I mean, <laughs> yeah, could probably do with that to be honest. To get over this, I can't wait to go on holiday now. I was buzzing for the end of the season, man. I was thinking, yo, but listen, let's restore the faith today. That's what we got to do. MP said wolves are not good at the moment, so are we. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, in it. And th and I think it's hard, in it. Sometimes you play a team that have got nothing to play for. And you think, ah, oh, we'll smash them. They'll be on the beach. But then sometimes they're dangerous because they're so relaxed. They got youngsters making their debut who are going to be mad hungry to prove a point. You know what I mean? So we have to manage the game. We, we need to control the tempo today. Jude said Wenger messed up February but always finished strong. We've seen it. Also used to do this all the time. It used to be about March, February, March. We'd crumble, fall out of the title race, and probably go and win the last five games. I used to call us no pressure FC. We're like Real Madrid when we can't win something. We'll go and win five, six games in a row. Uh, Baba Tunde, big up, bro. Saka and some of our players have one more season to spare. If we don't win anything next season, I honestly won't fault any player leaving. I think I spoke about this the other day about Saka. I retweeted a clip of him from two years ago. And a lot of people were just like, it's because everyone doubles up on him. Nah, that, that's that's too easy. A, um, I think that's too easy of an assessment to say, oh, why is Saka not looking as good? Oh, they double up on him. Okay, it will have an effect on you, of course. If you're 1v1, you're much more likely to get past that player than two players. But I see Saka get 1v1. I'm seeing, I saw Saka 1v1 against Bayern Munich. And he, he wasn't getting past the guy. I actually realised Saka's upper body looks a lot bigger than he looked two years ago. I don't know if it slowed him down. I saw Saka doing stepovers. I saw Saka, Saka nutmegging people. So I, I, I don't know. Is he being overcoached? Does the system change? Is he playing too wide? Does he hug the touchline too much? Does he not have the same confidence and belief? Has he slowed down a little bit? People have to understand your game can change. You get bigger, you can go slower. I, I don't know. Sometimes when you're younger as well, I think you're a bit more fearless. When you're a teenager in the team, you're like, just give me the damn ball, man. Let me rip up this fullback. When you get a bit older, you start thinking about it, second-guessing yourself a bit. It's got a lot of pressure and expectation on his shoulders. Is he being overcoached? Is he being asked to keep possession more than actually running at the fullback? There's a number of questions. I think more we have to look at solving the issue of Saka rather than turning on, on him and saying, get rid of him. I'm not happy with the way he's playing, but I also think there's still an absolute top player there. And considering he hasn't been that good this season, to get 14 goals, 8 assists, he's not bad. Think about if he was really cooking what he... He could have maybe got 20 goals this season. Um, but I hear what you're saying. And I said this the other day, bro. Saka signed four years, Saliba signed four years. We spoke about it on Friday. Real Madrid have been scouting Saliba. They're not stupid. Alaba's, what, in his 30s? You know, they're going to need a defender. Um, they're going to need a defender. In, in You know, it only takes Saliba, goes to Euros, have a good Euros. Madrid come in. These guys' heads will be turned. We think these guys love Arsenal and they're going to stay here forever. Real Madrid put a big offer in for Saliba. Saliba's going. That's the reality, bro. It's Real Madrid. Especially if Mbappe's there. He's friends with Mbappe. You know, you've got Chouameni, Camavinga, Mbappe. There's a real good core of young players there. Bellingham, Rodrigo, Vinny. So we've got to be careful. We've got to protect ourselves. That's why I keep saying, get out of this thought process of next season because we hear it every year. We get to April, May, yeah, but big transfer window next season. How many times have you been told that as an Arsenal fan? Why is it not this season? 
Why was it not last season? You know, if we win next year, cool. It was you were right, but they're saying the same thing to me that they said last year. Hey, Charles, sign some players from Villa, also Wissot and Dunk. Yeah, Brentford hammered Luton today. I didn't expect that. Villa are difficult. I keep telling people Villa's owners are very rich. They could be in the Champions League. You ain't getting no good player out of Villa on the cheap. Douglas Louise, they're saying, okay, if you want Douglas Louise, you paid 105 million for Rice. Chelsea paid 115 for Caicedo. You could argue Douglas Louise is better than Caicedo. He's got, I think, nine goals this season. Um, and he's in the Brazil team at the moment. So they're going to ask for 80 million plus for him. Would you pay that? Watkins will cost you 80, 100 mil. I don't know. I take Leon Bailey. Line up today equals stubbornness. Listen, he ain't going to let go of Havertz. He just won't. He just will not. Uh, don't have a YouTube channel, but have a bank account. Hey, big up Mr. Cool Bus Driver. Big up on herself. Yo, my bro. Um, TGG said, big up C. Just tuning in. Uh, only going to watch the stream. I can't watch any match now. Now I, know, I just know City's not going to drop any more points. Let's be ready. Next season's delusion. Oh, man, it's, it's tough, isn't it, bro? Big up for the super chat. And Cal said, I'm going to start agreeing with you on Arteta if he keeps starting Havertz, negating Rice in the process. I said it the other day um, when we did, what was that stream? Day after Bayern Munich. I said, the player I feel sorry for the most at Arsenal Football Club is Declan Rice. He's, he's arguably been our player of the season, right? Along with the two centre-backs. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Those three have been the most consistent. And I think Odegaard has improved a lot um, in the second part of the season. Um, he just spends all game chasing after people. He probably thought, I'm getting out of Moyes football, West Ham, counter-attack. We're going to dominate the ball. I won't have to run much. We're going, you know what, mate? We're going to play you in a single pivot. So that we can force Havertz into attacking midfield. It's just a joke. I tell you what. Forget players being sold. There's going. If I'm some of those players on the bench today at Arsenal. I'm saying that's me done. Now some of these guys might be getting sold anyway. But if you're Thomas Partey today. You're going. I've been injured for six months. I've come back. Come off the bench a couple of times. Started against Luton. Did all right. And then he doesn't come on against Bayern Munich. He doesn't come on against Aston Villa. And he still finds himself on the bench today. Yet yeah, we've waited months for this guy to come back. We've all wanted to see Rice Partey Odegaard start a game. And we're not seeing it. Smith Rowe comes in against Luton. Starts, gets man of the match. What's his reward? Sit down on the bench. And I'll play Havertz ahead of you in midfield. So now Havertz getting picked up front ahead of strikers. And he's getting picked in attacking midfield ahead of attacking midfielders. It's crazy how we're shoehorning this guy into the team. Um, but hey, if he scores, forget it, you know. All is forgiven. Kolasinac play. Uh, bro, I couldn't believe it. I honestly didn't know who Kolasinac played for. I thought he was... I thought he went to Marseille or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kolasinac in the Europa League semi-final. Uh, GR Heyer 9. Hey, all, I changed my name on here from Greg Heyer to GR Hey, I didn't want to get the Buenos Aires treatment if someone was asking. Big up, bro. Hope you're well. Where is Buenos Aires Guna, man? Bro, I hope he's good, man. He hasn't been in the comments for months. Um, and he was, you know, he was always, always in the chat. And, um, yeah, big him up. Hope, hope he's well. Hope he is well. Um, what else have we got going on here? Uh, another super chat. Have I read that one? Yeah, and I've read that. Yeah, but, yeah, I read that one. Big up Sox game. That's a, that's a, a huge donation, bro. Big up yourself. Um, what have I got to talk about? All right, I wanted to show you all. The leak. Wow, we kick off in seven minutes. I've really been waffling there, Anna. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the leaked new Arsenal kit. The home kit for next season. Whether this is actually nailed on the kit or not, I don't know. But, you know, this is what they're saying and usually it's not far off. This is the new Arsenal kit for next season. Listen, the home kit... Let's be real. You can't do that much to the home kit, if we're being totally honest. Um, 
but it is what it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. So it's got these little blue bits down the side, which I was like, why are we doing blue? But yeah, if you do look at the Arsenal, original Arsenal badge, we do have like blue trim on it. So there is obviously a connection to blue. Interesting that they're on about doing the old Arsenal badge um, with the cannon as the badge they don't usually do that on the home kit they've done it on some of the away kits and then blue stripes i mean it, it's all right I, to be honest yeah it does it looks like an ajax copy and paste again adidas uh, i actually think the home kit this year is one of the best home kits we've had in a long time i loved it i loved the whole gold and red and all that to to commemorate obviously the invincibles um I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. The 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 collar's a bit, and they've got that like open neck bit there where it's a bit flimsy. Ah, listen, to me, I always say the classic kits are the kits you win in. The kits you win in become the classics. Um, and you know, you look at the black kit from last year, biggest selling away kit in the club's history. I can't tell you the last time I wore that kit. Why? Because we didn't win nothing in it. So when I look at it. It brings me disappointment. I think, ah, oh, could have won the title in that kit. Not interested. I might wear it to the gym. I don't wear it on the streams. I don't really wear it on the road. You know, so if you win, cool, I'll wear that kit. I'm, I think the training kits are better. Training kits are timeless, you know. Um, so, yeah, listen, here's what it is. It'll be out, it'll be out sh uh, shortly anyway. Apparently, it's out next month. Last game of the season at home, we'll be playing in it. Anfield, exactly. You win at Anfield, you win the league at Old Trafford, you win the league at White Hart Lane, them kits suddenly become classics. Our Invincibles home kit, that kit is so basic. So basic. Big red, big O2 badge. It's bang average. We won the league Invincible in it. It becomes one of the best home kits you've ever seen, simply because of what we won in it. So, anyway, enough of the kits. No more merch talk today. The players are walking on the pitch. And, uh, like I said, I feel very relaxed. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. We have to win. Like, we're 90 minutes away from saying the season's over, or we've at least steadied the ship a little bit. Obviously, let's hope... Um, you know, the, the, the ship is uh, steadied a little bit. Let's get the tweets out. What are we tweeting? Uh, must win game. Havertz in midfield worries me. Um, we should be a depleted Wolves team. I'm going... What am I going for? I'm going 2-0 Arsenal. I'm going for 2 0 Arsenal. I think we're, you know, they've got no Neto, they've got no Cunha. I think we can keep a clean sheet. Um, yeah, I'm going 2 0 Arsenal. Give me a score predictions, people. Give me a score predictions. Cap says bring back the night kits. I did like night kits, I can't lie. Just because night growing up, it was a bit more streetwear than Adidas. I don't mind Adidas. As long as we're not back in Puma, then I'm good. 5 0, wow. 4-0. There's that much confidence, yeah? That's a lot of confidence. I like it. I like it, but if we can score early, we can we can deal with them. 2-1, 2-0. Harry 2004, yeah. Is that... Um, which one's that? Burgundy. I've got that one. Henri on the back. 3-0. 3-0 again. This match feels like a draw. 2-0 comfy win. 2-1 Wolves. First Wolves prediction. Night kits and 3-1. I prefer the night to the Adidas. Lucas says 3-1, 1-0, 3-1, 2-1, tight 2-1. Three points is all that matters. You're bang on. Let me get these super chats. Can we hit 1,000 likes pre-kickoff? 3.5K in the chat. Big up the Twitch gang. Big up the whole C unit. ESR tattoo, trust the process, is Stockholm Syndrome. Man put trust the process on himself and then got benched. Man said, yo, brother, don't take my lyrics. Um, Shem, thank you for the super sticker, bro. Big up yourself. White glove, appreciate that. I'd like the crest to be changed to just the cannon. It's the classic, isn't it? The red looks like a bottle. Oh, man. Bottle of Prime, bro. Prime, that new Prime flavor. Big up Will McKenzie. I can't believe you look like Will McKenzie out of in between us, and your name's Will McKenzie. That is legendary. Uh, Vidsem said that the red part looks like a bottle. Everyone said that. 
Everyone's saying that. Big up Vidsem. And MP said Arteta with Havertz is like Millie Vanilli agent trying to sell his records. At the end, we find out he's a fraud. Look at this. Tawanda Chirewa. First start for Wolves. There you go. Number 62 on the back of his shirt. Genuine teenagers getting game time. We lose to their um, work experience players. Uh, that'll be me done for the season. I'm sorry. I just, I'll need a break. I'll be going on um, gardening leave or whatever you call it. Cruz will have to do Arsenal therapy. And we're 800 likes. Get the likes up, people. Can we hit 1,000 pre-kickoff? They're in their huddle. They're in the huddle right now. Um, this is it. This is it. I know I've said that I feel quite laid back and I'm not going to get too engaged, but now it's kickoff. I'm like, if we don't handle business, season's mash-up and we're all over the place, um, it is a very big game of football. You know, we have got to win today. Um, get them likes up, people. Get them likes up. We are a minute away from kickoff. Players are on the pitch. Subscribe if you haven't already. Wolves to get us underway. Last chance saloon. If we can't beat Wolves on work experience, we have no chance. Here we go, people. Oh, I love them graphics, by the way. They're simple, but I just feel they're so effective. I love them. Uh, anyway, here we are. We're underway. Cruz can host Arsenal Therapy. I'll have a break. Arsenal get a throw in early on. Listen, there's no excuse for Odegaard. It looks quite bright there today. Let's get the victory. Here's Ben White. Clips it out wide. Good ball to Trossard in a bit of space. Get the ball in the box. Whip it in. Kivior, poor cross. Falls to Havertz. Shot straight at the goalkeeper. Decent half chance, that. Decent half chance. It's not a great ball in from uh, Kivior, but it flicks off the top of Doyle's head. Havertz, not a bad little volley, that's a shame. Could have got it out either side of him. Could have um, could have been 1-0 to the Gunners, but um, it was straight at the goalkeeper, unfortunately. Hopefully... We get some decent chances today and um, we can put this Wolves team to, to the sword, you know. Oh, screens mashed. What the, what the hell happened there? How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. Apologies. Um, you should tweet. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, man, we, we, we said enough, bro. Big up Mr. Cool Bus Driver, you know. Done talking, you know, brother. Done talking. We have to just... No, why Saka limping already, bro? We've been playing 90 seconds, bro. I told you expected limps. 90 seconds, brothers, limping. Fix up. Stop eating this beans on toast. Get him some jollof, some yam, some dumpling and banana. 90 seconds, man's limping. Come on. What we got here? Be strong. Go on. Ah, oh, he should have played it in front of him. Odegaard here. Ah. Um, I told man, expected limps, man for XL, man, extra large, expected limps, man, 90 seconds already, man's limping. Tom, you're right, too much Nando sauce, man, what happened to you? He's overplayed, and now that is, I do agree with that. I said if Saka can breathe, he starts, simple as that. He won't get a rest, there's no such thing as a rest for Saka. play every game for us, then he'll go to the Euros, Southgate will play him every game. Then he'll go on tour, he'll play them games. Then he'll start the season, he'll be on them games. And, you know, that's um, that's it. Where's the rest going to come from? Interesting how we play today, because Jesus dropping deep, which he loves to do that, don't he? He don't, he don't like staying up at, at the top of the pitch. Little chilli sauce hangover. Uh, big up Sherman, who said, Curtis, why are we surprised Saka isn't the same? Look what Pep did to Grealish. I'll tell you, you could be right there, you know. That's a great point. I spoke about that the other day, actually. Grealish. Remember that game when he was playing for Villa and he ripped Bella into bits? I think he scored. And I, at that time, there's a lot of Arsenal fans like, listen, you've got to go and sign this guy, Grealish. And um, he goes to Man City and it's like he's been buffering for two years. He don't run past anyone. Here's Saka. Odegaard. Oh, gives it away. Simple ball. Ben White... Now that there, Ben White's ran 40 yards up the pitch there to overlap Saka. And then Odegaard's pass is given away. You'd be fuming if he was Ben White there. When you've put all that effort in to get up the pitch. 
Ronaldo played every game. I mean, Ronaldo and Messi, I think they're just different. Them man aren't built like anyone else. Them man just play every week and it just don't phase them. Good tackle, Jesus. Havertz gives it in back. Jesus with the shot. Oh, my days, mate. I mean, where's the shot power, bro? Good play. Really good play from Jesus. Where's the belief in your shot? Like, you snatched at it. Poor shot. Drags it at the near post, man. He's got a, um, he's got a shoot better than that. I'm glad he took the shot. Shooting's not his strength for yeah, well, he told us. Abdullah, big up big C have we recovered from the last two games? Not really. But we're just getting on with it, you know. Big up South London's fans. Get the likes. Can we hit 3k likes today, people? Make sure you subscribe. Road to 100 k We've been flying the last few months. Jose Saw plays it to Doyle. He's under a lot of pressure there, but they keep the ball. I have to say, Wolves look relaxed. And uh, it was interesting in the press conference that Gary O'Neill was basically saying Wolves have already achieved their target, which you don't often hear managers talk like that. He was basically saying that their aim was to stay up. When you look at the players they lost in the summer, Jimenez, Neves, Jao Martino, Traore, they lost so many players. Their aim was to stay up. They're comfortably going to stay up. So... Are they dangerous because they're relaxed or are they on the beach and we can get the better of them? I suppose we'll find out. Um, I feel bad for Nelson not playing at all. Do I feel bad for Nelson? I don't really, you know. I know this sounds very harsh, but I don't. You're on 100 grand. You're at Arsenal. Okay, you haven't had a lot of game time call, but you've come through the system. When you've started games, have you done anywhere near enough to even make us think that Reese Nelson should be in the team. When we're talking about Saka coming out the team, we're saying, put Jesus on the right. Push Martinelli out there. Put Trossard out there. Nobody's really saying, let's put Reese Nelson on the right. I don't think Reese Nelson's taken his opportunities. And when you're a young player, and he's not that young, by the way, but when you're a young player, you don't get that many opportunities. So I don't feel sorry for him. I think the club will sell him in the summer. Gary O'Neill, manager of the season, 100% he, he should be in the conversation. To sell that many players and be 11th, if they win today, they're a point behind Chelsea. They go top 10. Now, I don't expect them to win, of course. But he's done a great job this season, Gary O'Neill. Really, really good job. They're, they're what? They're nearly 20 points clear of the relegation zone. And they were one of the favourites to go down. So, done a great job. Um... Is Jose Sarr on the ball? Yeah, big up, bro. Yeah, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, I see that um, that guy D put um, a link of your YouTube channel in the comments. Um, and like I said, anybody that's got a YouTube channel, Twitch channel, I don't know, if you sell clothes, you've got a clothing line, anything like that, feel free to... You know, do a bit of self-promotion in the comments. That's what we're about, community business. So, yeah, man, feel free. And if we see it, we'll promote it, of course. I uh, feel bad for... Yeah, uh, do you know what I mean? I don't feel bad for now. I feel bad for the, the people who got to get up on Monday and go to a job that they don't like. Brother's sitting at Arsenal on 100 bags a week. I don't feel that sorry for him. Man's had games and hasn't done enough, so... Can he really complain? Not really. Oh, hey, Pat, relax yourself. I said legal stuff. Happy 420, though. Here's Saka. Look, 1v1. 1v1. You took too long. Got away with it. I thought he... Boy, he looked off balance there. I was a bit worried how Saka landed. Kivior. Finds Jesus. Jesus whips it in. Very interesting that Jesus is just drifting all over the pitch. At times, Trossard's going up front. And Saka, not Saka, and uh, Jesus is going to the wing. Um, Nelson is talented, doesn't get a run of games. Yeah, I don't feel sorry. For yeah, and, uh, listen, I get what you mean from a footballing point of view, but I still just don't think he's done enough when he's played. Um, you know, I, I think he's got to do more. Yeah, I hear you. That guy, D, said, I just removed your... Yeah, we don't want you to get banned. You know what I mean? Uh, I'd rather see Nelson instead of a limping Saka. Yeah, I hear you. Is there an OnlyFans account I can borrow? Listen, 
you got to do what you got to do, people. You know, electricity's going up. Um, but, hey. Here's Declan Rice on the ball. Finds Ben White. Looks like it's got a very strange feeling about it, this game. It's just got an end-of-season game about it. But as long as we win. Right, Kivio finds Trossard. Good position here up against Matt Doherty, former Tottenham player. Cross it in back post. Saka heads it across and saw collects it. I thought Havertz was gonna um was gonna flick that on into the back of the net there, but it went just over his head. A good cross to the back post. Saka does quite well there to win the header, but um it's just over um Havertz and saw collects it. Uh Saka had too much Nando's. Boateng TV, big up, bro, big up. Promote the ting, man. Um, here come Wolves. Matt Doherty is an Arsenal fan who went to Tottenham. And uh, when he when he signed for Tottenham, didn't they put up a video of him with some old tweets where he was um, bigging up Arsenal? Charlie said, the fact you're okay with the community promoting themselves in the chat says a lot about you as a person. A lot of these creators say, no, man, come on, listen. Life is about energy, giving, receiving. You guys turn up, you're giving up your time, you're commenting, you're interacting. At least I can do is say, yo, if you've got something there that's legal, of course, promote that, man. I can't guarantee I'll always see it and click on it, but other people in the comments might see it. So big up, big up. we got to hustle people, you know. Uh, Mr. Cool Bus Driver, anyone living in Glasgow want Jamaican food? Holler, there you go. There you go. You might, you never know. You might go Glasgow for a night out. Holler at Mr. Cool Bus Driver. Get some jerk chicken delivered at 12 o'clock. Um, but yeah, man. Where's LSU? Oh, yeah, he's not in the chat today. Big up LSU, gonna. Uh, Krabby said best community. Yeah, man, I'd like to think so. You guys are legends. Here's Ben White. Gives it back to Saliba. Great ball. Lovely play by Saliba. Finds Ben White. Get out of his way. Well done. Oh, pass it off first time, Odegaard, man. And now he's limping. I said that, didn't I? When Saka's on the floor, he'll be like, bro, I'll be there in five seconds anyway. Ah, oh, Wolves get the ball back. That looked like one of them moves where... Um, where we were going to play like 15 passes and score. Like, remember that Fulham goal a few years ago when I think Ramsey got goal of the season that year at Craven Cottage when we just rinsed them on the break. Um, you know. Expected limps versus expected hair flicks. Yeah, I Am King said, uh, there's a lot of people I haven't seen in the chat in a long while. Yeah, listen, it is what it is, isn't it? With Goat Martinelli in the chat. I, listen, I said this the other day, and a lot of people were saying it genuinely. After buying, there was a lot of people in the community saying, I need to take a break. And I get it. I, I get it, people. You know, you got to do what you got to do. You can't let Arsenal mash up your week and your weekend. Um, so I respect it. 12 minutes gone. Wolves in possession. I think we need to lift the tempo a little bit more. Wolves are there for the taking today, man. I mean... They're depleted. They've won one in their last five. They're not in great form. They're already um, they're already um, safe in terms of no relegation. So, and they've got teenagers playing today. Marco said he unfollowed Arsenal after Bayern. Wow, you couldn't take the PR, on no? uh, Jag Deep said I legit forgot Arsenal were playing tonight until I came onto YouTube and saw the watch along. <laughs> LK said I'm bored. Kimmy said, Arsenal ain't good for your health, but here we are. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It is true. Here we go. Come on, Arsenal in possession. It's a chance. Kivio. Your... Oh, the cross is in front of Jesus. Unlucky. You know what? Kivio and Trossard look like they've got a little bit of a partnership going there. Because am I, am I wrong in thinking? Uh, maybe I am it. I was thinking, is Kivio not inverting? He seems like he's playing like a more orthodox left back than what we've seen. And he's getting on the overlap of Trossard, which I just think we need to do that sometimes. Get Saka and Ben White 2v2. Get Kivior and Trossard 2v2 out wide. Leave the inverting stuff sometimes and just go back to basics. 
Cam said he unfollowed Arsenal after last year's nonsense. Not coming back till we do something. Kivio's overlapping. I can't believe it. That's lovely football. Give it him back. Bro, where are you going? Here's Saka. Come on. You are 1v1 with him. Slows it down. He's doing what Pepe used to do. I used to go mad at Pepe for that. Don't always slow down. Here's Trossard. Left-hand side of the area. Can he get a shot off? Here's Declan Rice. Tame effort. Keeper just falls onto it. You need to drill that one, bro. I don't know why he side-footed that. Uh, Knight said, happy 420, Big C. Snake Eyes, the season was done from game one when Timber got injured. I don't think we can use Timber as the excuse. It didn't help us, of course. Mark Neighbour said, uh, Reese Nelson is solely there because of British homegrown quota. Same with Eddie. Most of these fans don't understand this. We need a um, uh, hell end. An MP said almost 4K watching, not even 1K likes. Let's go, people. Hit the like button, man. You go to the nightclub. You pay the fee to get in. It's free to get in here, people. Just clip up that like button on the way in. Just shoulder barge it as you roll in. Um, Arsenal have the ball back. See, you mentioned a couple of days ago about how Arsenal aren't balanced. I think, I think we're a lopsided team, bro. Uh, we play through our right-hand side completely. Our team is built on that Saka, Ben White and Odegaard triangle. Oh, that's not bad. Havertz lays it off to Jesus. Here's Odegaard. Shot. Oh, my days. What is that? I'm going to forgive him by saying that the guy behind him may have affected um, when he lifted his leg up. Havertz, good knockdown. Good knockdown by Jesus. I mean, I'm being kind here. I don't know. I think the guy behind him... Puts him off a little bit. I mean, the shot was closer to the corner flag than the goal from Odegaard. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. At least he, least he had a shot, which nine times out of ten, he doesn't even have a shot. So, that was a decent move. Direct. You see the exact thing I said about Bayern Munich the other day? We should have gone two up front and gone direct. Havertz won the knockdown there. Jesus sets it. And he gets the shot off. Why didn't we just do something different against Bayern Munich? We are over a 1,000 likes now. So big up the community. Really appreciate it. Big up everyone locked in on Twitch and YouTube. Um, Wolves just look like this. Wolves are playing this game like it's a preseason friendly. They haven't had no shots. They look ridiculously relaxed. They just look like... They're trying not to lose, and if they get a chance, they'll have a go. They're really not doing too much. Pat said, Big C, can I get a, a 420 birthday shout-out? Big up yourself, bro. Happy birthday. Big up, Pat. Bobby said, any tips on how to dump the wife? Oh, bro, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for breaking up no marriage. Uh, Bout said, uh, that loss took all the energy away from the fans. It's crazy how much emotion people invest in the team, 100%. And Double D, big up for the super chat. Appreciate that. The strong arm. Yeah, big up yourself. We should get Jackson from Chelsea. The only way you should come to Arsenal is if Gunasaurus quits his job. Apart from that, I'd rather have Janet Jackson playing for us than Nicholas Jackson. Here come Wolves. Got him behind Kivior. Rolls it down the line. Huang, was he brought down there? They're appealing for a penalty. Gabriel, I don't think he made any contact with him. Huang hasn't appealed. Um, and we've got away with it there. But that was sloppy from Arsenal. Got to do better there. Tempo's got to be lifted. Saka's on the floor. Free kick. Come on, man. Get up, bro. Um. <laughs> oh dear, Arsenal makes me feel like a. Oh, <laughs> yo, some of the comments today, man. Every everyone's in their feelings, in it. It's been a tough week. It's been a tough week as an Arsenal fan. Some of the comments today, man. People are really like, yo, not again, man. Don't do this to us again. It's hard work, in it. It might actually be easier as a fan to just finish fourth. And not be involved in the title race. Being in a title race and not winning is just like, you know, it's, it can be even... Bro, Gabriel Jesus at right back. Jesus is laying the ball off to David Rea from right back. Like, this guy, bro, what is this? Need you to score goals, bro. 
is Declan Rice driving run. What you got? Go on, you're quicker than him, Deckers. You've done him. Make a run. What you got? What you got? Is um, Jesus. Now he's at right wing back. Move the ball. Nah, man. What is that? Right, Kivior back post. Trossard in support. Can we create something? Oh, Odegaard. Havertz. Trossard, can we get a chance? Somebody shoot. Declan Rice. Oh, puts it wide. Edge of the area. Again, he goes with the side foot. Should he put his laces through that? i got to admit, I'm disappointed he didn't hit the target. I think the keeper's got to be making a save there, Deckers. I mean, look, it's a couple yards wide. Should he be drilling that rather than side footing it? Uh, to be fair, if he gets it on target in the corner, maybe. But I want to see him hit the target from there, man. Edge of the box, rolled to him by Trossard. Best Premier League season for goals. Six, what was that? Six goals and how many assists? Was it five or four? Five assists, six goals. That's not bad, really, to say he's played lone in the, the pivot a lot of times by himself. I, I expect him to hit the target there. Even if you don't score that, I expect the keeper to have to save that. People said, have you seen Arteta's white hairs now? What The grey hairs coming. I didn't even see it. I'm not surprised after the last week. Rice is tired. And I said that. I forgive him. The guy's basically like Mo Farah in our midfield, bro. He's doing marathons every week. Wolves in possession. Don't foul him. And the wall, um, Molyneux usually a lot more lively than this. So I think, um, I think there's uh, definitely a, a very laid back feeling that they know they're all they're already up, and uh, they're not getting relegated. Trossard in the box is low. See, Trossard's better than Martinelli in tight spaces. Martinelli's better than Trossard when he's got space to run into. So I almost think you've got to pick them based on the opposition, which is annoying because you don't want to change them that frequently. And of course, you would try to favour Martinelli because he's the young player who you hope is going to get better and better. But he just doesn't he doesn't work well when he's in the penalty area. He needs to run and go past someone. Um, Trossard's at his best when he gets the ball in the area. Problem Arsenal sometimes when we play him on the wing, he's too far away from the penalty area and he doesn't have the pace to sort of, you know, go past somebody and drive into the box. You wish Trossard had Martinelli's pace. He would be unbelievable. The Wolves have done well there, played out under pressure. 4K in the chat, 1.3K likes. We called 1.5 by half time. Let's do 2K. You legends, big up that guy, D. And yeah, let's get 2K by half time. 21 minutes gone. We need something to lift this game a little bit, man. 22 minutes gone now, actually. But yeah, we need a goal or something. Wolves starting to grow in possession a little bit. I don't like that. They look very, very relaxed. Trossard is a true false nine. Jim said 21 minutes in and I'm bored. Let's talk favourite chocolates. Uh, ever seen Martinelli play the nine like he did for Emery? I've said for a long time I would have tried Martinelli up front. I don't get why we've never done it. I think he's got the pace. Play him on the shoulder like Vardy, but maybe because we play possession-based football, he doesn't think a striker like that would work. But he's so quick and he's quite instinctive. I think if you got him in front of goal, he, he might be quite good if he has less time to think. On the wing, you're further away from the goal. You have to manoeuvre more and think how to get closer. Um, but I don't know. Just for men, people saying Arteta needs to uh, die is here. The grey hairs are, are, are peeling through. It's the stress, Mikel. It's the stress. Here come Wolves with Huang. Plays a 1-2. Another 1-2. Oh, shot deflected. Goalkeeper saves it. That was Chirewa. The young lad, I think he's 18 years of age, um, played a nice one too there with Wang. Listen, like I said, when you've got young players in the team, you're um, you're desperate to prove a point. So he's going to be dangerous. He's going to be dangerous. Where's the greased up turkey? Is he? Um, who does he play for now? He's at Fulham, isn't he? I think he's at Fulham. 
Adama Traore, I'm sure he plays for Fulham. I can't believe I forgot. Yeah, Fulham. He's at Fulham. Um, I don't think he plays much. I actually don't see him play for Fulham. He must just be on the bench all the time. Um, yeah, Fulham. I never see him. I always see like Dan James and Willian and them man playing. I never really see um, that greased up turkey playing. Start, man are actually having the chocolate discussion. Star bar elite chocolate. Jagdeep said um, that a toffee crisp is the goated chocolate. Oh, dear, I'm hungry now. Now you lot are saying that. I actually feel like getting... Should I just go shop and just get some chocolate and just come back? Probably nothing's going to change anyway, the way this game's going. Um, come on, man. Are we going to test the goalkeeper or what? Need to see something. Hey, big on my brother, AD, in the chat. 0161, Manny on the map. Massive boxing. What is it tonight? Garcia. Garcia and Haney. I might stay up for that, you know. Not even going to lie. That could be... Um, I don't know what time that's on, but I'm pretty sure it's on very late. Is there some NBA tonight? Oh, Nick 76 is at 11. Yeah, it could be an all-nighter, that. Oh, it's Saka in behind. What you got, Bakayo? What you got, Bakayo? It's Odegaard. Shoot, man! Shoot! I just can't believe it. Stay calm. Don't do it. Don't do it. We've lost the ball. Oh, my days. These, man. Imagine going out on a sunny day with these guys having a water fight, mate. You know, it'd be no fun, would it? You know what I mean? You've got your Super Soaker 500 and nobody's attacking each other. You know, you've got water balloons and all. Saka basically falling over. And Odegaard, what is going on here? I probably, I am going to, my first boxing watch along will probably be Usyk Fury. Oh, here's Ben White. Josie across, Trossard miss hits it. Should have probably scored. I would love to do Garcia Haney, but 4 a.m. I'll be making a whole heap of noise, going to wake up Cruz, and, you know, it needs to be maybe a 10, 11 uh, p.m. fight. I, I can't believe Trossard missed that ball. I need to see the replay. That was a good cross by Ben White. I feel like Trossard should have done better there. I can it. Oh, Saka, hurry up, man. Gee, since this guy brought a sauce out in, in Nando's, he's playing with no sauce, bro. This is like cooking chicken in water and salt. It's just got no flavor about it anymore. What's going on? Garcia didn't make the weight and showed up to the weigh-in during a beer, drinking a beer. Big up Snake Eyes, gifted five memberships to the community. Here. Saka whips it across, it's blocked. Big up Snake Eyes. Big up the five new members. Member stream next week. We're going to have a lot to discuss. Chelsea midweek. This. Tottenham. Let's just hope them games still have some value and meaning. Big up Dre. He said, Curtis, just want to spliff and have a humble thought. You know what? I don't even smoke, bro. I'll be honest with you. But big up. Big up all the, all the, all the smokers them on 420. We are too casual. This may end in a draw, said Hey Char. You'd think we was mid-table with Wolves and the season's over. Saliba plays over the top, goes out for a goal kick. Honestly, I, I could fall asleep watching this. I could genuinely fall asleep watching this. Great ball by Ben White. Saka drills it across its block. Show the other one where Ben White is showing the wrong replay. Mr. Me said, whoever said Toffee Chris should be time out. Toffee Chris, decent, I reckon. I ain't had one for years, actually. Helen said, Sniper and Scope. I had a baby Wednesday. Baby's first watch along. Big up, big up. More life, more life. Listen, I'm saying this now. I'm saying this as a parent, genuinely. Congratulations, Helen, on the new baby. Think about what's best for baby. I'm being serious now, people. The natural progression is, you're an Arsenal fan. I'm going to make my son or daughter an Arsenal fan. We may have to start thinking about this because we know how painful this is. Do we want to give our children all of that? You know, do you just buy them the Harlem Man City shirt and let them be glory fans and don't suffer? Or is being an Arsenal fan a good thing? Because it's going to teach you some real harsh life lessons. 
You know what I'm saying? So maybe we're setting them up in a good way for the harsh reality of life. If you're a Man City fan, maybe it's a bit empty and you're just winning all the time and then you're just a spoiled brat. Maybe Arsenal is the ultimate life lesson. You know what I mean? So maybe we're doing the right thing. But big up Helen. This channel's funny said, hey, Big C, I'll be a dad next month. I'm going to have a son. Any suggestions for a name? Bro, I mean, names, you know, man. Somebody's asked me to tell them how to dump their wife today. And you're asking me to name your son? Bro, I, I don't know. I haven't got a clue, bro. But congrats anyway. At least you're meeting your targets. You know what I mean? In life. Unlike Arsenal. Imagine telling your girl, she's like, listen, man, I really want to have a child. And uh, you're like, listen, next year, you know, I'll, I'll get myself in the gym. We'll really go for it next year. You think she's going to stay with you, bro? She wants to have that baby now, bro. You can't talk about next year and trust the process. We're only in phase five. You better give her what she wants. But hey, big up to you, bro. Oh, mistake there by Kivior. Here come Wolves. Shot. Hit the post. Cleared by Ben White. They're trying to do it. They're trying to do it, aren't they? They want to ruin the weekend. I am not allowing it. I'm not. I am not allowing it. Here's Odegaard on the counter-attack. I saw that. Hey, somebody did that, didn't they? That went viral. They named their child Lenezra. And it's spelled Arsenal backwards. Um, but hey, man, it's, it's, the chat's crazy today. I can tell you're all a little bit... You're all a little bit um, wild today. It's been a tough seven days, Arsenal, man. It ain't. It's crazy. I've been asked to dump someone's wife, name someone's child, and now we, you know, people are telling me the best, um, the best um, chocolate. But yeah, Timber. Um, yeah, somebody just said it there, Timber, mate. Just put us out of this misery at left back. Kivior, they kept telling us he's smashing the forty-yard record in training. He don't look very quick to me, people. All I see is him quickly making my... What's that? Hit him on his chin. Look at him. What is it? Oh, God. Kivior, mate. Oh, my days. We need a left back badly in the summer. Or oh, put Timber there. Honestly, this guy, man, this guy, Kivior, is not the answer. Because, I, I don't know. Lenezra is a great name. I think that is quite good, that. It went viral. Arsenal backwards. Should have recalled Tierney. I don't think we had a recall clause. Ben White, what a ball to Saka. 1v1. People tell me, oh, he always gets... To be fair, this guy, yeah, he's getting wrestled. No, that's mad. That is mad. That is mad. Man literally just grabbed him and said, I'm not letting go of this guy. That is mad. I can't even have a go at him for that. Who's that? Oh, man just literally grabbed him. A man said, Curtis, what's your setup like? Do you have a TV above your desk to watch the game? Stream from the office bedroom. Big up. Spare room, TV above the desk. Yeah, that's it. Simple and effective. You know, nothing... Nothing. Somebody said once, oh, do a room tour. I said, bro, the room tour will be over in about 12 seconds. There, This ain't, I'm not in some fancy, you know, Sky Sports studio, bro. It's basic. Computer, desk, TV, couple lights, camera, moving. Keep it moving. That's it. Not in glamorous, bro. We'll do it. The tour would be done in eight seconds. But yeah, TV, big TV above the desk. Do your mansion tour. Oh, dear. I wish, bro. I wish. All in good time. Right, free kick to Arsenal. Crossing position, Odegaard. Oh, he pretends to take it. Now our players are offside. I hope they drop back. They have dropped back. It's whipped in. Doesn't even beat the first defender. The quality is lacking today, honestly. Odegaard, 30 yards out. Gives it to Kivio. It's been such a flat first half. Um, ball over the top. Heavy touch by Jesus. Uh, I'm going to tweet at half-time, any Arsenal fans still awake? Because, honestly, this is a snore fest. They're going to show you Kivior's defending again. That guy is not a left-back. Do not play that guy at left-back. Any particular reason you don't smoke? I just never, I was never interested in it. Plus, played football from a young age, so that was the worst thing you could do. Um... 
Al said can barely watch. I'm, I, I've said this a lot of times this season. Anyone who struggles to sleep, watch watch this first half. You'll be asleep before half time. It's a snore fest. Havertz there. He, I thought he handballed it. After, after. Um, here's Ben White. Need some caffeine. Oh, here's Odegaard. Find Saka. Havertz is down injured now. Here's Saka gets to the byline. What is that, man? You're just kicking the ball straight at him. Does Saka think the ball's just going to teleport for him? Look, Havertz on the floor, rolling around. Guess what? Wolves aren't going to kick the ball out. What did we What did we do last week, Zinchenko? Oh, their player's on the floor injured. I feel so sorry for him. I kicked the ball out. Havertz literally rolling around on the floor. Wolves said, nah, man, relax yourself. Wait till the ref stops the game. Now, Declan Rice tries to crunch someone and gets a yellow card. And this sums up the mentality. This is why, unfortunately, we're not top of the league. Because look at the difference there. Wolves, nothing to play for. Oi, yay, yay. Havertz got nailed. Nailed him on his ankle. Ooh, that's a naughty tackle. That should be a VAR red card check. Havertz gets absolutely clattered to the floor, right? And the Wolves player stands there, looks at him. He knows he's in pain. He says, so what, bro? That ain't my problem. Yeah? Wait till the ref does something. So then Declan Rice goes to, you know, smash one of their players. And he gets a yellow card. And that's the problem. What was Zinchenko doing last week? Oh, while we're on the attack. Oh, stop everyone. Everyone stop. Villa have got a player down. Let me kick the ball out of play. Right? And that's the difference in the mentality. And no, I'm not doing the Rashford celebration. Could have broke his ankle with that tackle. That's the difference. Too nice. Too nice, people. Uh, Atlantic, uh, they're having a water break. Uh, Havertz getting treatment. Atlantic Zoo. Oh, that defending from Kivior, man. He's so poor, that guy, honestly. And they hit the post. That's the best chance of the game. We could have been losing out of nowhere. It's actually a great save by Raya. That he tips it onto the post. This is well and truly the Truman Show gutless. Name my son Christopher. My dad's name says Jude. Fraser, big up, bro. Curtis, I realized after all these years I never gave you a super chat. This is way overdue. Thanks for being you and doing your best to include everyone in your community. Also, I see you're now a life coach. Well, you know, if Arsenal aren't going to win the major trophies, I might have to find... Uh, some other work to do in my spare time, you know. I'll do one-on-one -on -one, uh, life coaching, you know, and inspire people. And Jorge said, does Arteta not allow them to just shoot what the F? I don't know, bro. I just don't know. Throw into Arsenal down by the corner flag. The Nezra and Marna Tot. What well, I'll top them backwards. And uh, MP said, we look worse than Villa and Bayern half-time. Bro, at least against those two teams, we looked all right first off. Now, nah, we, we don't even look good in the first half. I think the team's feeling sorry for themselves a little bit. Saliba gives it away. Big mistake shot. Oh, it goes wide. What is that, Saliba? Oh, their, their heads have gone, Pete, honestly. What is that? What is that? Who are you playing that to? You're trying to play that round the corner into Saka. When there's a midfielder in front of him, that is absolutely insane from Saliba. And I love Saliba. I don't know what he is doing. I don't know what he is doing there. Listen, I, I'm going to say something now. There's 4,500 of you tuned in. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you that you haven't fallen asleep. Honestly. Like, this is a snore fest. Even as an Arsenal fan, I'm just like, boy, man, me tired now, man. Like, yo, what is this? Wolves, you know. One win in their last five. Teenagers starting. Come on, Trossard. Come on, Trossard. Jesus is there. Oh, my days. It's a terrible cross. Puts it straight in the keeper's hand. Don't you dare just roll out of the title race like this. Just don't you dare. They're there to be beaten. Trossard there, mate. Just roll it across the penalty area. All this outside of the foot business. I just don't understand what we are at the moment.
I don't get it. I'm confused. I'm confused by the team right now. Come on. Oh, they can't do that simple through ball. Wolves player down on the floor. They, they don't even kick the ball out for their own player. You know what I mean? We was kicking the ball out for someone else's player. It's crazy. Would you take a draw? Listen, stop that, bro. Stop all of that. A draw ends our season. We're struggling to break down a team that are going through the motions. Honestly, Wolves are going through the motions. And um, they, they, you know, they've got, I think they've got nine players missing. I did read it before the game. I forget how many. I'm sure Gary O'Neill said they had nine players out. No Neto. No Cunha. I mean, that's their two best, probably, attacking players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players out for Wolves today. We've got one out. And we're all over the place. We haven't really had a good chance. And the way the second halves have been going... You just don't know what you're going to get in the second half, do you? Um, it's an absolutely boring game, by the way. So boring. Wolves have got the ball. Ball out wide now. Here we go. 1v1 with Kivy or Matt Doherty, you know. Oh, he's forced him backwards, to be fair. Big up Cooper, he said, we're playing with no heart, no killer instinct. We need some Ray and Nephew, says Chris. Here come Wolves on the attack. Be strong. Well done, Trossard. Gets his body in. You just got to win something there. Goal kick. Well done, Trossard. We've been horrible. We've been, Honestly, we've been horrible in this first half. Absolutely horrible. And I tell you what, we've got the wrong team on the pitch, as far as I'm concerned. Two shots on target. Four shots on target. Two shots off target. 52% possession. I think we've got the wrong team on the pitch. Havertz in midfield. It's not going to happen, mate. It's just not going to happen. You play him up front or you bench him. It's as simple as that. Smith Rowe is a better attacking midfielder than Havertz. There's just no doubt about it. Or, or play part A in the double pivot with Rice and let Rice get forward. You know, put Martinelli up front. Do something different. We just see the same thing every single game. For a guy with so much tactical nous. And a guy that learned under Pep, who constantly changes things. And, you know, remember when we played City and Bernardo Silva was at left back. He regularly gets John Stone stepping into midfield. Do something different. Odegaard gets bullied. Get off the floor, man. You're the captain. These young players are looking at you to lead. Trossard slips over. Honestly, it, honestly, if Wolves had Cunha and Neto in this game... I think we'd be all over the place. Neto would be ripping up Kivio. We're lucky they've got players missing. It's not going according to Black. It, it's not. It's really snot, Dre. Um, Jay said, Kurt, I was right about Saka. You've just, honestly, I would just send Saka on holiday for a week or two and just say, go and have a break. Something's just not right with him. Get him to Dubai, give him a gold stake and, and get him back in a week, you know. I, I don't know. Here's Jose Saul. Go and press, man. Good head of Saliba. Can you win it again? He does win it again. Come on, react. Look at Odegaard. You didn't want... Look, get up! Every minute on the floor, man. It's embarrassing. Thinks we're in La Liga. You ain't getting free kicks for that. Wolves on the attack. 1v1 with Ben White here. Left-hand side for Wolves. On his left foot. Clips it to the back post. Kivio does well. Wins the header. Jesus at left back. Giving the ball to Gabriel. How are we supposed to score? Gabriel, is that still in play? Cameraman, how about you, you show us the game, mate? Did it go out or not? It went out. Odegaard, look, moaning to the ref. Ref, give me a free kick. He pushed me. He hurt my arm. <laughs> uh, get up, man. Weak. Soft. Soft, Brendan. I'm, I'm sick of it, man. Rolling around the floor every minute, man. Fix up. Come on, Saka. You've drawn three players or two players to you here. Need support. Sick of seeing us rolling around the floor, man. Great ball, Ben White. Saka. Draw. Oh, it's a poor cross. 
What a ball that is from Ben White, man. Saka, pick someone out. Stay calm, man. Just don't, don't. I'm not letting him do it. Saturday night, I'm watching NBA and boxing tonight. I'm this. I, I can't let this happen. They are not ruining my Saturday evening. They're not. Saka, come on, somebody shoot, please. Havertz looking for Gabriel Jesus. Brings it down. Is he looking for a penalty? You ain't getting a penalty for that. Get the shot off. Deflect. Yeah! Get in there! Leandro Trossard! Come on! We're still in the title race. He may have grey here. But we're putting it down to experience. The silver fox himself. Leandro Trossard. A.K.A. Bossard. Not Stella R. Trossard playing like he's drunk. He shoots. It's deflected. And it floats into the top corner. Wolves are complaining. And Arsenal take the lead. Does you see what happens when you shoot? Jesus, great touch. Twist turns. He's appealing for a penalty. Trossard. I don't think it does get a deflection. Does that just go in off the post? Oh. Great goal. Post and in. Bossard. Great finish. Slices across it. We don't shoot enough. Come on. Yo, Trossard. Well done, bro. See what happens when you shoot, bro. I said it. I said it the other day, didn't I? In the penalty area, best finisher at the club. You get him in the penalty area, he will score goals. We're, listen, we're top of the league. We're top of the league. It's shameless, but we'll take it. What we got to do is just win the next two games and put some pressure back on Man City. I, I said that performances are now secondary. Um, the, the result is more important. Great time to score as well. 45th minute, just before half time, changes the whole dynamics of the game now. Kivior heads it out, is Havertz. What is that? We got away with it though. Saka finds Odegaard. Good ball out wide. Come on. Look, Saka's on the floor again. I could be doing him dirty. He might be injured. Here's Jesus. Shoot, man. You're a striker. And he gives the ball away. Just did the guy don't. He don't trust himself. He doesn't trust himself. Saka's still on the floor, I think. Oh, come on, man. Tell him to get up. I might be doing him dirty. Maybe he is injured, but. I've never seen a player on the floor as much as Saka. I think the only player I've seen on the floor as much as him is Martin Odegaard. George said, no cojones, no heart. I'm assuming that was before the 1-0. Um, SM said, I'm soaking my peas, seasoning my... Pause, no, did he? Only watching because Curtis makes me laugh so much. Big up SM. And George said, hit them now, 5-0 for a morale boost. Don't stop. Um, stacking until the game is done. Listen, if we win six and Man City win five and draw one, it comes down to goal difference, right? And we're currently, I believe, six goals ahead of Man City now with that one goal. You know, City are capable of smashing someone 5-0. I want Arsenal to score a few more goals today. Who knows? This could come down to goal difference. So... Arsenal's plan needs to be to score some goals now and get the game dusted. Uh, Ray has got the ball in his hand. 30 seconds to go with time added on. We have no shame moving uh, top playing like this. It's shameless. It's shameless. You know, let's win a shameless title. We're not playing well. It's a ball fest. But just keep winning. Keep winning. Jesus was literally 25 yards out on his right foot and refused to shoot. He played the ball backwards to Odegaard. That is such a lack of belief. Great play by Saka. Finds Trossard. Corner of the penalty area. He's been, oh, they've got around him. He didn't get, get oh, you've got to try and win a corner. That is a corner. No, he's give a goal kick. The ref's going to blow half time. Uh, unlucky there. That's good play by Saka. Bit better aggression there. Won the ball back. Laid it to Trossard. They, they got players around him quickly. Kurt, opinions on Chelsea next game. Should be beating them, but won't be easy. They seem to play better in big games, Chelsea. And even today, you know, they could have really 
got something against City. They miss sitters. It won't be easy. But you hope them playing 90 minutes against City, conceding in the 83rd minute and losing, it will take a lot out of them. Um, Half-time whistle goes. Half-time whistle goes, people. Arsenal, one. Wolverhampton Wanderers, nil. Wolves have not offered a lot, to be honest. Their best chance came from our mistake. Apart from that, they haven't done much. They've got players missing. They look very laid back. Go and score the second and third goal and get this game wrapped up and take players off. You know, that's what I'm looking at from Arsenal. Guna Carlos said, I'm done with Arteta, regardless of title or not. Who cares if we bought Liao Neto or another dynamic winger? He just makes them boring baby robots. Guna Carlos not happy. Big up for the super chat, bro. Uh, listen, the positive is we're winning the game of football. We're top of the Premier League. We've got to get this game wrapped up. And um, go one game at a time. What, what has happened over the last week? has literally taken the enthusiasm out of the fan base. Um, what we've got to do now is rebuild. And I don't mean rebuild overall, trust the process, phase five. I mean in this title race, we've got to rebuild ourselves. We've got to win today and take some confidence out of that. Then we've got to go back to the Emirates, 60,000 against Chelsea. Chelsea have just lost to Man City in a semi-final. Their season's practically over. We've then got to beat Chelsea on Tuesday. Then that's two. Then you've got the North London derby on Sunday, which is a massive game. One of our toughest games that we got left. They're fighting for top four. They're our rivals in terms of, you know, where we are in, the, in, in London. And that'll be a really tough game. It's got to be one by one. But... 1-0 is not comfortable. 1-0 is not comfortable. Let's get the halftime tweet out. Uh, winning at halftime. Um, winning at halftime. Not playing great. Or again, I feel it will be over. Um... Need to shoot. Need to shoot more. Um, good goal by Trossard. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's not a lot to say about that first half. Not playing great. Um, tempo a bit slow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if we hadn't scored, I'd probably be really unhappy at half-time. The goal, that's what I say, winning changes everything, goals change everything. Uh, Jesus has got no confidence in front of goal. Um, he's getting he's getting wide open opportunities and not, and not shooting. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. He's got no confidence. Um... But, you know, new striker in the summer and we we'll move on from that situation. Oregon said, uh, no, seriously, like Wolves supporters cry. What did he say? Wolves supporters what? Supporters crying about everything. Oh, they're moaning about everything. Uh, Patriot Gunner said, uh, Trossard should play up front. I said in the preview, play Trossard false nine. Trossard in the penalty area is our best player in front of goal, in my opinion. Jesus couldn't score in a brothel. Uh, why ain't Part A given a chance? The million dollar question. We waited six months for him to get fit to not play him. MP said, take Jesus off, bring Martinelli in. Do you know what? I actually think Martinelli could do well in this game because Wolves are actually pushing up a little bit. His pace could be useful. Jesus is frustrating. Just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to hit. He doesn't want to shoot. He'd rather pass. Confidence is no, he's got no confidence in front of goal. 45 minutes, where is the top paid player? It's a typical Havertz performance in midfield. He's just floating around the pitch doing nothing. Um, yeah, no, he's, he'll, he'll, he'll come out in the press conference and say he did well. White Glove said, give these man, uh, get these man on a flight to Salt Bay ASAP for a lesson in finishing dinner. Bunsa Kaka, good finish, Leo. 
They need a trip to Dubai, man. Habibi, come to Dubai. Uh, apologies. I had to do it. Silvino said, Sub Odegaard, bring Smith Rowe. Captain is off for some time now. He hasn't played well today, has he? Odegaard. Spent more time on the floor. SC Guna, big up, bro. By the time I decided to buy the yellow shirt, they've been out of stock for my size. If we win the Prem, do you think they'd restock? Probably. It was probably a sign, bro. They said, listen, save your money. Don't go near it. You didn't want it in the first place. Don't get it now. If we win the league, go and get it. Um, the interesting thing, it would depend when we won the league because our last game of the season is at home to Everton and the new kit comes out that day, the home kit. So would they restock this season's kit, the away kit? I'm not actually sure they would. I saw quite a few of them in the club shop the other week, but maybe they've sold out. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would say, I mean, looking at the first half, David Ray deserves credit. Fantastic save. That was a great save by Raya, by the way, tipping it onto the post. Um, Kivior at left back is not it, really isn't. Um, he gets caught out there so bad. Havertz for me, uh, no, let's go for it here. I mean, Ray has done well, vital save, absolutely vital. Uh, I think Ben White's done well, played some great passes down the line to Saka, he hasn't made the most of. Um, I think Gabriel's done well. Saliba had one momentary lapse of concentration. He's done well apart from that. It was very um, unlike him. Um, Kivior is the weak link. You know we're lucky that Neto's not playing right wing. He'd be he'd be oh he'd be causing him all sorts. Midfield Rice. He's done all right defensively. His shots need to be better. Odegaard spent most of the time on the floor. Havertz just, you would hardly know who was on the pitch. Saka, I just think he's got to the byline on numerous occasions and his cross has been blocked. Trossard, I think, has done all right. Scored a really good goal. And Jesus, I mean, he's done his best work in midfield and in defence. Needs to be way more of a goal threat. HR said, I've had this thought many times. My gut feeling says Mancini will one day manage Arsenal and win as the Prem. He is one of the managers I've suggested before as potential Arsenal manager. People think he's washed, but he's um, he won the Euros a couple of years ago against England. He won the Cup in Turkey with Galatasaray. He's won the league in Italy. He's won the Cup in Italy. He's won the league in the Prem. But I don't know. I think he's in... I think he's a Saudi um, national manager. He's getting all kinds of money, so wherever you could get him. Ben White, best player on the pitch. He, uh, listen, his passing today has been outstanding. Jamrock Gunners, give your explanation. You cannot, and I mean you cannot, concentrate on football. If your wife is a tw Maybe he's just on the pitch just thinking about her twerking and it puts him off. Um, Havertz is Havertz in, exactly. It's a typical Havertz in midfield performance. There'll be people online saying that he's played well. And that's the scary thing about it. When you know with your own two eyes, he's done hardly anything. He won one decent header that he knocked down to Jesus. Mancini is the Saudi coach, 25 million euros a year. There you go. That's it. That's him not coming to Arsenal. It won't be cinematic, said we need two strikers in the summer. If the main man is injured, don't want to see Havertz or Jesus back up front next season. Left back is an issue. Saka's poo right now. Uh, I can't see us buying two strikers. I think um, I think Nketiah will get sold. I think they'll keep Jesus for one more year as a squad rotation. Backup striker, backup right winger. And then he'll probably go next summer. But yeah, you're right. If you bought a strike for 100 mil, all of a sudden he was out for three months. You're back to Havertz. I think Trossard, false nine, could be the best option up front for Arsenal. Um, he's done well there this season as well. Get me for far not a Bruno Guimaraes. We need an energetic midfielder, 100%. We need somebody that can run and play next to Declan Rice. 
Ambient Guitar said, unpopular opinion, Trossard is better than Saka. Before I can say Trossard's better than Saka, I need to see the evidence. Evidence is not technically better, just, you know, if you look at Mo Salah, there are a number of wingers that are technically better footballers than him. He's not the most pleasing of footballers to watch. He's there because of his effectiveness. But listen, one thing I'll say, and I, I mean, I've just looked. I mean, Trossard's got nine goals. I don't know if they've included that one already. Could be ten. I, I'm not sure. But if he's got ten goals in the league without really starting that often, you know... He's only four goals behind Saka, who plays every single game. So there is an argument, but I'd still take Saka over Trossard. I'm going to be honest. Trossard is 29 years of age, turns 30 in December. Saka's 22, you know, that who knows how good he can, can become. Uh, I would go for Visser and Jokeres. A lot of people rate him Visser at um, Brentford. I think he scored, did he score a hat-trick today? Nine goals for Trossard plus today, okay. Trossard's, um, he, he's the best finisher. I don't, I'm, I'm completely convinced. Get me Frank Kessie. Um, he's on that big money though, isn't he? What about Matoma? The hype around Matoma's dropped, and he's been injured for a lot of this season. Um, did you see Dancehall artist uh, Elephant Man has got 38 kids? I mean, listen, bro, in Jamaica, that's... That's light work. Uh, 38 kids, you know. Bro, every time the man shoots, man's hitting the target. That's crazy. 38 kids, you know. Boy, all the best. All the best, bro. Um, Big C, Saka, Saliba's passing has been a bit dodgy in recent performances. Um, yeah, maybe he's made the odd mistake, hasn't he? You know, which against better teams, they would punish you for that. Um... I'd swap Xhaka for Havertz all day long. Do you know what? That that comment is so, like, damning. And do you know why it's so damning? Because for five years, I wanted Havertz out of this football club. And I agree with your comment. You said to me, now nah, i give you Granite Xhaka back for Havertz. Because of the age, I wouldn't be hyped because he's in his 30s. But I'd, you know, you'd you'd take Xhaka what you saw last season over this Kai Havertz. And that's scary hours, bro. That is scary hours. He's just gone and won the title and had a great year, though. Um, so, hey, man, it is what it is. Uh, goat comment. Arsenal game causing me to sleep. I, I don't blame you, bro. Um, right, let me read these super chats. Pep won one Champions League in a decade. People expected Mikel to win it first attempt. Hey, Char, you know, I, I don't think the frustration is... i tell you my thing, hey, Char, right, with Arsenal. If Arsenal fail to win a tournament or fail to win the Premier League, I want it to be because excellence outperformed us. And what I mean by that, if we don't win the league, I want it to be because Man City beat us and they played at a level that we couldn't match. Or we went to Anfield and Salah went crazy and they got to a level we couldn't match. If you lose the title under circumstances like that, sometimes you have to put your hands up and say, yo, they've shown levels that we don't have the quality to match. If Bayern Munich bossed us and Harry Kane was outstanding and... Sané put in that first performance in the second game and they beat us 3-0, I'd say, yo, they just went mad. We couldn't live with them. But at the moment, the reason we're not top of the Premier League is because we had 21 shots against West Ham and couldn't score. We went to Fulham and went through the motions and got beat. We're missing sitters from six yards out against Aston Villa and we should have won the game. And that is the frustrating thing. And that was the frustrating thing around last season. Losing 1-0 at Forest. 2-0 up at West Ham and drawing. 2-0 up at Liverpool and drawing. And that's the problem. We defeat ourselves. We are. We're self-destructors. And that's the problem. That's the problem. But anyway, we're top of the league now. Let's get this game wrapped up. Uh, and Odegaard needs a rest. Chelsea next, says Per Inga. You could be right. Maybe he does need a rest as well. He's played a lot of football this season. Him and Saka are um, 
are two players that consistently get picked and uh, don't get a break, really. Favourite Nicolas Cage film? Mm. I've got a few. I like uh, Face Off. I would say The Rock with Sean Connery. And I would say maybe, is it Connor where he's on the plane? I like that one as well. Gone in 60 Seconds is good as well. I think I, I think The Rock is probably my favourite Nicolas Cage movie. Um, maybe Face Off. That's not bad as well, actually, when I think about it. Him and John Travolta. That's a bad boy film. Uh, but, yeah. Second half's underway, people. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. We're just under 2K likes. And uh, we're aiming for 3 or 4K. Let's get the victory. There's over 4,000 of you in the chat. We should easily be on 2K likes, people. Easily. Um, back underway. Jose saw on the ball. Face off straight up classic. That is a good one. That is a Ghost Rider. Was he in that? I can't even remember that film. Um, Arsenal in possession. Can we score early? Saliba gives it away. Looking for Havertz. Wolves are there to be dealt with here. Score the second goal. I think their uh, I think their enthusiasm for this game will go. Look how easily they gave the ball away there. It's a terrible pass. They've been going through the motions. They've been going through the motions. Get a second goal, we win the game. White Glove said, I think Kai done well. People see things different. It's fair. Couple good knockdowns, bro. Apart from that, I didn't see anything. I, I don't think he had a shot. I don't think he had a shot against Bayern Munich away. I don't think he had a shot against Man City away either. Um, you, I know he's not up front, but he is in attacking midfield. You do need to affect the game going forward somewhat. I need to see a pass. I need to see shots. I need to see runs that cause problems. Big up um, Fitz Joseph in the comments. Hope you're well, bro. Come on, you Gunners, let's get a second goal. Wolves in possession. Odegaard goes to press, goes back to Jose Saw. They were very confident playing out from the back, Wolves. Honestly, you can, uh, like I said. Oh, just as I said that, though, they give it away. How about you go forward, Jesus? How do you get the ball there and end up back on the halfway line? I mean, he won the ball off Doyle. Probably 40, 45 yards out there. Pick a pass going forward and catch them out. Gives it back to the centre-back. Um, it's his work rate and what he does off the ball. To be honest, I'm just bored of hearing that. I, yeah, I expect that from a defensive midfielder. Great ball, Saka. Maybe overhits it. Ben White clips it in. Oh, they're getting each other's way. Havertz. Trossard's on the floor. It's, I think the offside flag's gone up. Trossard and Jesus clashed into each other. Listen, if you signed N'Golo Kante and you said it's what he does off the ball in his work rate, I'll have no problem. That's what I want from the defensive midfielder. The attacking midfielder slash false nine who costs 65 million. I'm not, I, I, I don't think saying about what he does off the ball and the work rate is, is going to take us to the next level. How about what you can do on the ball? How about you're 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 a danger to the opposition? I'm really not interested in all that work rate thing. He's got to affect the game more, bro. He's in a key position, you know. Um, substitution being made. I think that's Lamina coming on for Wolves. VAR check was the VAR check for a penalty. He hasn't given it anyway. Goal kick. Jose Sar kicks it long. Wolves back in possession. Next goal's vital. Even though I'm kind of quite laid back about this, we've got to score the next goal and finish the game off. I think 2-0 would finish them off here. I think they'd be done. They're, they've won one in their last five. They're not in good form. Here's Odegaard. Shoot, please. Ha shoot! Oh, what a block. He, he fell over as he hit it. At least he tried. I'm guessing part A still isn't fit. I don't know. Started against Luton two weeks ago. Played 70 minutes. Hardly played since. I don't get it. This team seriously need to work on their shooting from outside the area, man. We don't score enough from outside the penalty area. It's one of the key ways to score a goal. 
You've, the best teams can score past you in the most ways. They can get down the side with the wingers. Do you know what I mean? They can get in behind, pace up front, can clip it over the top. They can shoot from in front of the defence. Arsenal don't shoot enough. They just don't shoot enough. Oh, absolutely nailed Kivior there. Studs were up. Come on, just give us a give us a VAR check red card, man. I'm shameless. Send him off. Ref's giving him a yellow. I want to see the replay of it. Kivior is up, to be fair. Were the studs up? Studs are up. I don't think he makes enough contact for it to be a red. Yeah, no, nah, it's not a red card. It is a no, it is a it is a yellow. Carlito's way is better than Scarface. Oh, I love Carlito's way. What a film. Benny Blanco from the Bronx. Um, sorry, the Al Pacino impression. It's not easy. They're both classics. Carlito's way almost feels like Scarface two if he survived in Scarface. You know, great films, but. Scarface just has that legendary thing because it's the coming from something to nothing, you know, is always, I feel like, the bigger storyline in a movie. People love that storyline more. Um, so Scarface will always go down as the bigger class. Oh, Goodfellas, bro. I love that film. Oh, my days. I love that film. Absolutely, man. De Niro, that's got to be his best film. Jimmy Conway, bro. He ain't playing. Casino as well. Yeah, another, another De Niro classic. What about Heat? you got Al Pacino and De Niro in that film. Great film. Um, Nothing to something. Did I say something else? Yeah, but them films, you can't go wrong. Here we go. Saka, great touch into Trossard. Drives up this right-hand side. This player's in the area. He gets past him quite lucky there. Trossard wins a corner. Could he have got the cross into the area there? We had players in there. Um, but he uh, he manages to win a corner. The old school films, you can't beat them, can you? Training day, man. I'm putting cases on all you. Well, I, I'm not going to curse, but yeah, Denzel was one of my favorites. American Gangster, wow. What a film. Frank Lucas, Bronx Tale. Big. Corner to Arsenal. In swing. Osaka, please don't do the, the corner that you did against Bayern Munich. That doesn't even beat the first defender. Plays it short to Jesus. Here we go. What we got? Declan Rice lays it off. Oh, we still can't shoot, man. Odegaard shots blocked. I think we actually worked that corner quite well. Oh, shot us, bro. That's one of the best films ever. What a film. Bigs. You've gone too far this time. You've gone too far. Teddy Brookshot. Come on, Arsenal. What we got? Oh, Saka. We're trying to play one-twos. We're right next to each other, man. Just shoot the ball. It's Declan Rice. This game is so much there to be won. That is unbelievable. Ben White and Odegaard clips it to the back post. It's a poor cross. I think he's got to whip that in rather than floating it in the air. It's Kivio. No, he's just thinking about her twerking, isn't he? Isn't he? He's just thinking about her twerking. He's lost the ball. He's running around. He's just thinking about her twerking. You're right. Arsenal have the ball back. The game seems open. Saka's fouled there. It's got to be a free kick. This is a good shooting position. 25 yards out. Free kick. Yeah, we're on the film talk now. Belly as well. Eva Mendes in training day. Say no more, bro. Belly's a great film. Great film. Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Menace to Society. Dead Presidents. Yeah. City of God. Lil Z. Brazil. Favelas. Free kick to Arsenal. I always say this when we get a free kick. Who's the who's the specialist? Paid in full. Oh, my days. Harlem. What a film. Snatch. Quality English film, that, isn't it? Lock, stock and two smoking barrels as well. Who's going to take this free kick? It looks like Odegaard and Declan Rice are over it. Come on, just bend this in the top corner and end the game. New Jack. Where's his snipes, in it? Yeah. Watched it a few times. 
What was Havertz doing for Ben White's cross? To be fair, it's not a great cross. Rice, are you are they are they joking? You take it short and he blocks it. Come on, Havertz. Oh, straight at the keeper. It's half a chance. Unlucky, man. Could have done better there. What is Declan Rice doing there? You can't see the guy at the edge of the wall waiting for you to take it short. We're on the attack again. Oh, to God. We still don't want to shoot. Here's Havertz. He's right in front of you, bro. The ball ain't going to go invisible. Throw into Arsenal. We're dominating the game here. Life. Oh, my. listen. Honestly, what a film. Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence growing up. Two of my favourite actors. Um, Two of my favourite actors. <laughs> Fran, big up, bro. <laughs> hey, big up. Hey, listen, man. The, the man just talk, bro. You know how it goes. We have to focus on the prize, you know. Ben White shoots, it goes wide. We got my brother Fran. 10 trading. Make sure you go and follow him. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Ain't there a new one coming out this year? I think there is. But life, man, what a film. What a film. Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. Madness. Big up Fran. 10 trading. Go and follow him. He's doing his thing. You want to learn about um, finance and crypto and all that stuff? That's that's your channel. Trading places. Listen, growing up, Eddie Murphy was one of my go-tos. I watched all of them. 48 hours, another 48 hours. Beverly Hills caught one, two, and three. Trading places. Coming to America. Delirious. Raw, the stand-ups. Old school Eddie Murphy was goated, bro. Absolutely goated. Um... Yeah, his, com his, um, his channel's there. Big up that guy, D. Now, nah, broads, minor ting, man. Minor ting. Football talk, bro. You know them ones. But, man, you know, you know how it goes, bro. Saka in possession. They haven't had a shot second half. Wolves. We should have scored, I reckon. Golden Child, yep. Seen that. Norbit. All of them. You'll never guess what. Odegaard's on the floor again. But, to be fair, it is a free kick. It is a free kick, so I won't um I won't I won't disrespect him. Man is saying they can't support Will Smith after the rock after the um Chris Rock incident. That's Hollywood, man. It sends some of these people crazy, don't it? Dylan said you can barely stand Eddie now. What are we talking? Eddie Murphy or Eddie uh, and Ketia? Third World Cup, big film. Offside there, Wolves. The game's gone really boring again, I'm afraid. If you're wondering why I'm not talking about it. It's, um... Hey, big up my broski, man, bros. You don't know, bro. Come on. <laughs> man saying Will Smith's a simp. How are we ending up talking about films, like, when during an Arsenal game? Fran needs a feature. Fran knows, bro. Any time. Any time. I don't know if he's even... Is he still... Are you still willing to make football content, Frank? Right, let's focus on the game anyway. Talking about movies and all sorts. Come on. Here's Declan Rice. Arsenal dominating the game. Second half needs another goal. And then I think we're, we're done. Sherman, when he came on, I know. Here's Saka. Right foot cross. Over hit. Jesus keeps it in back post. Get at him. Move out of the way, Havertz. You're in his space. Hit it. No, Rice don't want to move, Havertz. Jesus shots blocked. Honestly, man, this guy. He he just genuine. I said it ages ago, and people thought I was joking. Jesus has become Lacazette with better cheekbones. Man, think is a younger Lacazette with cheekbones. That's all it is. That's all it is. He, he, I don't know. Fran said, I forgot I was even a pro footballer. Um, don't follow it much. I hear it. I, I, I get you, bro. I get you. We've got to score the second goal. We're dominating the game. We're getting in great positions. I tell you what, we're going to have to play a lot better than this on... Um, on Tuesday. Lil Lacker, man. Forget Lil Z in City of God. This is Lil Lacker. 
we're going to have to step it up. But you obviously just hope that this acts as a big confidence boost to the team and sort of restores parity going into that Chelsea game. Also, Chelsea have lost to Man City in a very tough way. You get to 83 minutes and you've had the better chances and they get a goal. I think it will take a lot of energy out of Chelsea. Odegaard free kick, crossing position about 40 yards out. We'll whip it in towards the back post. It's flicked up in the air. We don't make nothing from it. Um, City of God, sick film. Lacazette was better than Jesus. Listen, the one thing you can say, Lacazette won player of the season under um, Emery. I, I don't see Jesus winning si uh, player of the season. Free kick again to Arsenal. Jesus there. Flicked it up. Ooh, a little kick on his face there, bro. Even as he's falling, he takes a whack on his head. Man's in the wars today. Have you seen Rush Hour, bro? Come on. You've got to have more respect for me than to ask that question. Like, I, I, what, like I, I'm a movie guy as well. I like movies. Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3, bro. Come on. Them films there, just standard. Everybody's watched Rush Hour. You're talking about a classic. There's no way I can't have watched them films. But big up, bro. Big up. Uh, big up, Kudze. Thank you for the super sticker, bro. Appreciate it. Over 4,000 of you locked in. 52 of you on Twitch. Big up. I will eventually get going on Twitch. I've really ne uh, neglected Twitch, aren't I? I should be doing gaming on there. I'm reacting to music. I will get it going. Here we go. Free kick taken short. Saka. Somebody just shoot Odegaard. All right, that's why he don't shoot. He's just dragged it wide with no power, no conviction. Just please get these guys in shooting practice um, on Monday. Our team, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> huh, yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Singing again. Uh, ha. Whoo. Wah. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, I'll just put films on and do watch-alongs to films, man. Don't worry. We'll lock this off if we have to. All right. David Raya smashes it long upfield. Oh, money talk, bro. Yo, Chris Tucker. Come on, man. And um, what's the brother's name, man, out of... Uh... Oh, what's his name? Well, I know Chris Tucker's in it anyway. And the other guy, I forget his name. What a film that is, by the way. We just do a film along. Laura Biden, Citizen. Oof. That's a lethal film, bro, but a banging film. Um, Friday. Uh, Sam. Sam, bro. Have I seen Friday? Put some respect on my name. Respect. Respect, as Mourinho would say. Have I seen Friday, you know? How can I say, how can I call myself a brother from the ends and say I have not watched Friday? Friday, next Friday, and Friday after next, bro. Word for word. We can talk the whole movie. Standard, bro. Of course. You have to. That's just like, you know, there's no, there's no way you can't off. Have you seen Paw Patrol? <laughs> Probably did, actually, when Cruz was a baby. You know, you know, when you're a dad, man, you have to watch all them cartoons again. It's mad, you know. You know, when you have a kid, you go back on the journey of when you was a kid. Because you're watching cartoons you watched as a kid. You know, I was watching Ninja Turtles and all that when Cruz was, like, a young uh, baby and stuff again. Um, but, yeah, man. I like pig feet. Why? Every time I come in the kitchen... You in the fridge eating all the hog malt. I like pig feet drinking all the Kool-Aid. But yeah, let, let me not. You know what? If you've tuned in right now to listen to the game watch along, you're thinking, what is this guy talking about? But it happens sometimes. We go off to we need more security in the world, Craig. Not just the city, the world. Got jacked by Santa Claus. We need more security in the world, Craig. Craig and Day Day. Oh, Saka, what you got? Come on. Come on. Oh, what a ball. Yes. Oh, Ben White. They're looking for a penalty. You ain't getting it. Goal kick. Ah, oh, dear. Game's boring. I'm not going to lie. The game is boring. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. Yo, what a... How funny was he, by the way? What a guy. 
What a guy. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, if you just entered, you're thinking, hey, I t tuned in for a watch along. Man's talking about Friday. Odegaard, what is that, bro? Odegaard has not been good today, in my opinion. I've tuned into the right strip. Frank, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? When the football's like this, you have to just, you know, delve off topic a little bit. I promise you there's nothing happening in the game. The ball's just move. Do you know the thing that worries me about this, if I'm just being honest, though? Arsenal dominating possession, getting in good situations. Yo, it's still 1-0. It's still 1-0, bro. All it takes is a shot across, a free kick, a penalty. We are not comfortable at 1-0. We have to score another goal. Don't know about it. And I mean nobody. Go in that bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. Uh, <laughs> yo, you can't beat them ones, you know. You can't beat them ones. Come on. Ah, uh, thought we could have put Jesus through there. Do you know what I've just realized? 25 minutes to go. No substitutions. We surely have to rotate now. Surely we have to rotate. Chicky tastes so good. Make you want to slap your mama. in that right? Yeah, boy. Right, I'll stop now. I'll stop. I'm thinking more about Friday after next than this game. Every time I'm looking at the game, the ball's out of play. Nothing's going on. Uh, how does Mikel Arteta not see how bad Saka is right now? He's going to stick with him, isn't he? Who are you going to play right wing? That's the problem. He does need a rest. As I said, I would have played Jesus right wing and Trossard up front. But Saka... Saka's got Arsenal right now as if he's like... What is that from Havertz? Falling over the ball. He's got us like he's CR7 or something. Like he's undroppable. We play like this, we don't beat Spurs. Yeah, we'll have to get better as the week goes on. That is for sure. Even Chelsea will have to play better than this. Kudze said, told you we need to retire the number nine. It's been dead since Eduardo. He could be right, you know, because Lacazette didn't do great in it. Aubameyang wore 14. We haven't had a good number nine for years. Podolski, I think, was nine. He didn't do great in it. Uh, why is he not changing if they're equal? Exactly. Who would you bring on, guys? Who would you bring on off the bench? Would you bring on Martinelli's pace, Smith Rowe, attacking presence? You get Partey on for more control. Do you give Fabio Vieira a game? You know, it's like this guy don't even play for us anymore. Um, but hey, Arsenal slowly turning into sexual chocolate coming to America. <laughs> what a film that is. Second one wasn't as good though. Come on, uh, what you got, Trossard? Twisting, turning, lift your head. Jesus, you're just that wide all the time. Have a back post over hits it. No one's there. Wolves have the ball back. We definitely got to make changes. 22 minutes to go. You've had a tough game against Bayern Munich midweek. You, you need to make a sub now. Declan Rice on a yellow card as well. I'm not saying you can take Rice off, but not, not at 1-0. Um, yeah, the cross. You watch Arsenal now, right? When we get to the byline, we just stand the ball up to the back post. When you cross the ball like that, because there's not a lot of power on the cross, you need to be crossing it to somebody who's amazing in the air. Because not only have you got to dominate to win that header, there's not a lot of power in the cross. So you've got to generate the power. Mm -hmm. With the way you head the ball. Now, who is amazing in the air for Arsenal? Hardly anyone. I mean, Havertz is tall. Maybe he's quite good in the air. But I think you're better off whipping it in with power. And maybe even a low cross sometimes. We're acting as if we've got Andy Carroll, Duncan Ferguson and Peter Crouch up front. Standing up crosses. Here come Wolves. Crosses blocked. Oh, they're appealing for a penalty there. You ain't getting that. And Raya comes out and collects it. I'm going to tell you this now. I'm not comfortable with what I'm watching right now. I'm not comfortable with this. We're going through the motions. 21 minutes to go. This It's time for some subs. Need fresh legs. Jesus, come on, be strong. You're looking to fall down. I don't, honestly, I'm going to be honest. 
I don't understand the modern game. People, stop putting in fake scores, please. It's it's 1-0. But we live in a generation where strikers are looking for the free kick rather than staying on your feet and trying to do something with the ball. The moment that ball went into Jesus' feet, he's looking to fall over. And the ref says, get up, bro. It ain't a foul. You've come from Brazil, from the favelas. And you're rolling around the floor and nothing... You idiot, That's just so annoying. Just get me a strong striker and here come Wolves. I told you 1-0 he's not comfortable. Twist him up. Shoot straight at David Rail. See it there? These men better fix up. Because I've seen this story before as well. I've seen this story before. Where we're going through the motions. Here we go. Oh, well, it should be a goal. Ben, why? you got to score. Keeper saves it. He's offside. He's offside anyway. I wish he hit the ball with that much power against um, against Bayern Munich. 20 minutes to go. Why does Saka take so long to play that ball to Ben White? Could have played it quicker. That is the warning, but this guy don't want to make subs. 19 minutes to go. You've got the same team on the pitch. You, hold on. Is he taking Trossard off? Don't. He better not. He scored top bins posting in. Is he taking Trossard? Trossard was walking off then like he's being subbed off. I bet he, I bet he does. He, he bring, I mean, listen, Martinelli coming on is not the end of the world, but I'm not being funny, people, right? And I need to explain this. Jesus... Looks like he could play for three weeks and he's not going to score, right? Saka, Saka, yeah, looks like a slim Lukaku and you're dragging off Trossard who's put one top corner posting in. People saying he's tired. Why is he tired? He doesn't even start every week. He will not take Havertz off a football pitch if he can walk and he won't take Saka off either. If I'm Trossard, I'm like, bro, I've put it top corner posting in. Why am I getting taken off? When Jesus don't even want to shoot and Havertz, he's just ghosting through the game. Hopefully Martinelli's pace can be effective as well. That's the only thing I would say. If I'm Trossard, I'm fuming. I'm saying, why is Saka still on the pitch when I've scored? Trust me, bro. Slim Lukaku. That's how he's playing at the moment. Doherty at right back. Surely Martinelli causes him problems with his pace. Doherty is slow. 18 minutes to go. No shame losing one or two. Ugh. You know, I don't even want to talk about the buying game. I really don't. I'm putting that out of my mind. I don't want to talk about it. Danette said, all great managers bring in the youth for the best of the club. What youth has Arteta brought into the fold the last three seasons? Yeah, zero. Wanieri, all them, we all thought they were going to get game time. They're not getting no game time under this manager. He don't bring in the youngsters, really. Emery brought in... Um, Saka and Martinelli and, and Smith Rowe. Kevin said only legend can subscribe to him. Big up, bro. This game is very dangerous because we've dominated the second half and haven't scored the second goal. It only takes one mistake. And when you've got Kivior at left back, it's a good kick by Rea. He's cut across that good. Rea's had a decent game today. Gonzo! Saka, man. It's like we're playing with no striker. Like, because Jesus just keeps dropping in. I would have took Jesus off. Wolves are making two changes as well. Violet. Nah, man, he's moving like slim Lukaku, bro. Everlasting big up said Havertz is chained to the pitch. I'm telling you, there might be something in his contract that you can't sub him off. Players do put that in contracts. Jorge said Mourinho would start dissing Saka if he was manager. He'd have him at left back. He wouldn't have him doing that. Here come Wolves. Honestly, if we draw this game, look, corner. That, I'm telling you now, I have seen this story before. I've seen it. I've seen this before. Dominate, can't finish your chances. And they, they I, I don't even want to speak it into existence, but... It's like watching a movie that you've watched before and pretending you don't know what's going to happen. Like, we all know. Just score again. They're bringing off um, 
Chihuahua, 18 years of age, making his debut. They're, they're playing teenagers, bro. And probably, you know what I mean? Like, first appearance in the Prem. Played decent as well, by the way. Looked comfortable on the ball. Doherty comes off. Who is that coming up? Sar Sarabia, is it? I can't believe he's on the bench. Ain't Nori. That's straight. Why are them guys on the bench? Corner to Wolves. They've made double change there, brought on two good players. We've still got part A, Smith Rowe, all these guys just sitting on the bench. Corner to Wolves. Oh, flicked away. Just don't ruin our Saturday night, please. Oh, no, that's a terrible shot. Goes wide. The thing with Arsenal, what's strange, it's like, it's like we're playing to win this game 1-0. I don't get it. I feel like big team, yeah, I can understand if it's Bayern Munich away or Real Madrid. You want it up, you think, yeah, man, I'll hold on to that. This is Wolves away. They've won one game in their last six. They got knocked out the FA Cup by Coventry City in the Championship. And we're sitting around saying, let's hang on to 1-0. What is that from David Rail? I can't believe he took Trossard off instead of Jesus or Saka when he scored a great goal and he's played decent. That's a great ball. Come on. Pass it. He's, would you not play that ball? Saka, Ben White on the overlap. Do something, please. Oh, it's, I, I just, every time we get wide, we put a soft, high cross in as if we've got some unbelievable striker in the air. Like, if Giroud was there, I understand you doing it. Like, who's the guy in our team who wins headers? You've got Jesus up front, five foot eight. And Havertz, who's just floating around the pitch. I don't understand the way we play sometimes. Why don't we whip the cross with power across the area? Arteta's just told Zinchenko to what he better not have. And you're not joking, are you? Because of... Oh, typical, isn't it? you got all them players on the bench. He'll bring on the worst one. Or one of the worst. Saw smashes it long. 13 minutes to go. Oh, nearly a great touch. Go all the way back to rail. If we'd gone 2-0 up, this game would have been over. I could have turned the stream off. But, you know, you see them new tempo, shiny blue ones. Huh? Yeah, they're the other ones Musiala had on. Saliba's got them on. Even Arsenal fans look bored in the stands. Bro, Saturday night, drive all the way to Wolverhampton. Just going through the motions. Come on, man. Get a second goal. Make. I told you, goal difference could count here. Ball over the top, Jesus. Oh, how Jesus, Havertz and Saka are still on the pitch, I don't know. Go on, prove me wrong, Jesus. No, you prove me right. Bullied. Absolute, get rid of that guy, mate, honestly. He doesn't, he's lost all his confidence as a striker. Look at this, here go Wolves. Lamina, 2v1 here. If he gives it in, we're in trouble. Drills it. Oh, straight up rail. Just please don't do it. 12 minutes. Just get through the game. If you have to win 1-0, win 1-0. And we'll just tick it off and keep it moving. You're trying to give Wolves confidence. There's no need for it. They've done nothing. You should be nervous. Man said Red Bull needed. Nah, bro. Don't drink that rubbish. That stuff's bad for you, man. Uh, favoritism. I mean, listen, every manager in the world has got favourites. But you've got to justify being the favourite. The favourites are usually the best players. This guy's favourites are people who aren't even the best players. His favourites are Havertz and Jesus and an out-of-form Saka. How is Havertz still on the pitch? Look at this, ain't Nori, man. How far do you want him? That's gone, that's gone. Just get, I want this game to just finish. Honestly, I just want it to end. Look, you see Gabriel calling out Havertz. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. That's what I want to see. How has Ain't Nori just rammed through our whole midfield? If you've got to wipe him out and take a yellow card, you, you stop it. Oh, party. Yeah, 11 minutes. Wait six months for this guy to get... And he's bringing off Jesus for party. I, I'm, you cannot tell me that Havertz doesn't have a clause in his contract that he can't get subbed off. I'm not saying Jesus has played well because he hasn't. He's not happy. I mean, he's probably frustrated with himself. Look at Smith Rowe just sitting on the bench. He must think, what am I doing It. What's the point? 
Havertz cannot be substituted at Arsenal. I'm convinced. There's something in his contract. He can't be taken off the pitch. But Partey's coming on, which means he'll probably push Havertz up front, play Partey and Rice in midfield with Odegaard. We're going to see the midfield we've asked for for the whole season. Unfortunately, we're getting it for 11 minutes, which is just nuts. If he doesn't play that against Chelsea on Tuesday, he's crazy. But let's see. Odegaard's been poor today for me. And I know a lot of the fan base love Odegaard, but I just think his shooting has all, like, just, his shots have been wide. He's hitting them straight at the defender. He spent most of the game rolling around on the floor. Yeah, um, at least he has made changes, but yeah. Is Havertz up front? Yeah, it looks like Havertz up front. Wolves have been so average. They've been so average. They've got eight players out injured. And, um, well, let's see anyway. This is a big 10 minutes. Saliba, just don't take chances. Ray up. Oh. Ain't Nori's playing at right back. He's left back. Can we get Martinelli in the game at all? He hasn't had a good game for a while. I'm glad to see Partey on, but... Uh, Thiago Silva was crying after the FA Cup defeat. Them Donnies, you know, crying after... Nah, do you know what it is? I think he's probably going to leave Chelsea in, in the summer, so he's probably disappointed. Last opportunity to win a trophy with Chelsea this year. Oh, is he retiring? Okay. Here's uh, Kivio. Don't do anything stupid here, bro. Nine minutes to go. Nine minutes to go. Into Wolves. Come on. No, to God. Put pressure on him. Saka's probably shattered. We all said before this game, you know what? Saka probably shouldn't start today. Give him a rest. He's going to play the whole 90 minutes. And then we're going to play Tuesday against Chelsea. And he'll play the whole 90 minutes again. And he'll be limping the whole game. Eight Nori against Kivior. I like the fact Martinelli helped him there because he knew, like, you can't leave Kivior 1v1. Declan Rice, be careful. Wins a throw. If you haven't watched this game, don't be in any hurry to watch the highlights. This is a boring game of football, honestly. It's been a boring game. The goal was good. We've had a couple chances apart from that. It's just like a pre-season friendly hour we're playing, which is mad. Wolves have got nothing to play for, but we've got a lot to play for. But if we win 1-0, I'll take it. You just tick it off and say, we won, it's a clean sheet. Um, you know, we're not going to watch the highlights back. We've got two more difficult games this week. Chelsea at home, Tottenham away. Partey, you got to win that. Well done, Od Wow, I can't believe it. First time Odegaard actually puts a tackle in and he fouls him. I actually thought he won the ball, but refs give a free kick. This is not good. I'm nervous now. I was so relaxed at half time because I thought we'll get a second or third and this game will be over. Now, free kick to them, seven minutes to go. They need to concentrate. We draw this game, the season's over. Like, it's literally that final margin. Go and press. Rayo. Oh, well done. Oof. Heavy landing there. I thought he kicked that guy in the head. Raya there. David Raya's quietly had a very, very good game today. I actually think him and Ben White have been our best two players, which says a lot about our performance. Um, ben White's played some brilliant passes, and Raya collected every cross, and he made that vital save in the first half. But it's, um, it's seven minutes left plus time added on. And uh, there's a player down injured for Wolves. I think Raya landed on him. Still got, what, Smith Rowe, Jorginho, Fabio Vieira, Zinchenko. He's probably not going to make any more subs, to be honest. Six minutes to go. Arsenal fans look bored and cold. It's freezing. Oh, man's yawning. <laughs> I mean, man, man's yawning at the game. Uh, Fabio is a part-time player. I don't even know why we signed him. I don't know. What's the point? 35 million for a guy you never play. Saliba and Gabriel. This could be another clean sheet, though, which, you know, best defence in the league at the moment. We're actually level now with Man City on goals scored, though. They're level. 
Six minutes to go. Injury here. He's all right. I think he took a kick. I think Raya landed on him. Get him off the pitch, man. Just limp off. I think he kicked him in the back. Lamina. AirPod Albert still got... He's gone down to one headphone now. I just want to know what he's listening to. Like, what, what has he got earphones in for? Maybe he's just listening to music. He's that bored. Um, Arsenal sponsored by night. Oh, yeah. As I said, man, just watch that first half. You'll be asleep by halftime. But we'll take the win. Sarabi. I can't believe he was on the bench. Oof. Oy, I think he need him in his back as he jumped in the air. Lamina. He's back up now. Come on. Five minutes left. Can we nick a second? Listen, I will take a 1 0. I would t if you just said now you're going to win 1 0, I say take it. It's a clean sheet and a win. It's not an exciting game, but at least we've won. But I just think goal difference could be a factor with Man City. If you're playing against Wolves and they're not playing well, you'd have liked to have seen more goals. Wolves in possession. Four minutes left. Part A on the ball. I was going to say calm, but then his pass wasn't very good. Oh, my days, Martinelli. You don't really want that ball. And David Rea, first touch is great. The second one, he slices it out. Why is Martinelli pinging the ball back to his goalkeeper like that? Get hold of the ball and protect it with your body and try and keep it up the pitch. Pinging the ball back to Rea. If he had a bad touch there, it could have led to all sorts. Here come Wolves. Oh, dear. Ball whipped in. That's a shocking cross. Honestly, Wolves have been absolutely dreadful. They're safe. They're mid-table. They can't get relegated. They can't get in Europe. They're probably not even that bothered. It's, it's just a flat feeling for them. And we're actually keeping them in the game. Cliffo said, so many of our players' confidence is gone because of Arteta. Um... Remember those Jurgen Klinsmann diving headers? He was famous for them, wasn't he? Klinsmann. Uh, big C next season semi finals in the Champions League. <laughs> uh, Wolves are horrendous. And uh, this game was always regroup um, and get three points. Boring, but as long as we win. And I'm with you on that. It, when you're doing the watch along, it's difficult. You feel, oh, man, I want some excitement. Like, my eyelids are heavy watching this. But. At the end of it, if we win one nil, it's job done. You you know you you click um, you tick it off, sorry, and you just move on to the next game. Curtis, read my comment. Have you been ignoring my comments? Not fair. There you go. You got your comment read out, and it was a pretty pointless one. Who do you want gone in the summer? Says Chris. <laughs> There's a lot of players I want gone in the summer. And Ketty on Nelson, Cedric. Um. <sighs> I think Ramsdale will go. There's loads. There's a good 10 if you look at the loan players as well. Kivior, it couldn't, he might need a loan somewhere. Tierney might go. Um, Laconga, Tavares, Ramsdale might go. There's a lot of players. There's a lot. Um, Free kick, two minutes to go. David Ray has taken it. We're hanging on in there. We're trying not to fall asleep. That's the aim of this one. It's a boring game, but we'll take it. David Ray. Ray on Ben White, man of the match. Jazz said, as a former footballer, Big C, why would a manager not rotate or trust other players? Is there any rational to... I mean, maybe he doesn't rate some of the players who are on the bench. We rate Smith Rowe, he might turn around and say Smith Rowe's not that good or he doesn't train well. You know, and, it, and then you're not going to play somebody who you don't rate if you're the manager. So that that's the only rationale. But the thing is, he gave him a new contract. So it doesn't make sense. And he signed Fabio Vieira and he doesn't play him. So why did you buy him? But they never ask him that question in the press conference. Why does Fabio Vieira not get game time? You bought him for 35 million. No one ever asks him that. So, I don't know. One minute to go. Just get this game. I hope there's not a lot of time added on. I can't wait for this game to finish. What's he moaning about here, the ref? Throwing on the halfway line. It's uh, Kivior. Looking for Havertz. 
we're all looking for Havertz, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> throw into Arsenal, corner of the penalty area. Do you trust Edu to do a good job in the summer? I give him some credit for some of the signings, but then, you know, Declan Rice was great business to get that deal done ahead of City. But for every Declan Rice, you spent 65 million on Havertz. For every Gabriel, who was a great signing, you bought Fabio Fiera for 35 million. For every, I don't know, um, Odegaard, that was a great signing, you signed Alex Renarsson, you signed Cedric, you signed El Nenny to a new contract. So who knows? Who knows with Edu? It's very hit and miss. <coughs> Good defending. That, well, that's a foul, actually, Gabriel. Get back in position. Stop arguing. Free kick taken quick. Six minutes added on. We did not want to see that. We did not want to see that. Six minutes for what? We've only made two changes. There have been hardly any injuries. So it should have been three or four, not six. Wolves in possession. I've got no idea how you're getting six minutes added on. From that, I don't get it. We've made two subs. They've made about three subs. Come on. Can we get a second goal, Saka? Go on. You've done him. Take him on. Yes. No. Oh, he goes on a good run and puts it over. Oh, you got to hit the target there for me. I mean, that first bit is brilliant. He slows him down. See how, much, see how better he is when he moves the ball quicker. Goes past one. Goes past two. Disappointing you didn't hit the target there, bro. I think you've got to. On your right, Mikel knows it as well. That's better from Saka. Go on, Deckers. Great run. Gets in the area. Can you pick someone out? Drills it across. Goes out for a corner. That delivery there that Rice put in is how I think we should start crossing the ball a lot more. All these floated crosses to the back post. And the only problem is you ain't got a striker in there on the end of it. That's, that's brilliant. Rice, look at the way he drives there. Havertz should be running in there, bro. What? He's, he needs a striker there. Where's the attacking players? He's got three players on the edge of the box. Somebody should be running in there. Edge of the six-yard box. That's a tapping. Drill it across the area. You cause more problems. We want a corner out of that. Saka, in-swinging corner. Four minutes to go. Takes it short. Odegaard, back to Saka. Can we make something? Goes in the area. Saka lays it off. Rice shoots. Saved by the goalkeeper. Straight at him, really. Didn't get it in the corner. Arsenal regain possession. Saka. Lift your head. Has a shot. It's a poor shot. Doyle clears it. Arsenal have the ball. Mate, Rice always looks knackered. He's running around in a single pivot. He's done all right, to be fair. Danilo said this game has drained the life out of me. It's not an easy game to watch, man. I tell you that much. But if we get the win, good play. Declan Rice had a very good second half. Really, really good second half. I, I've got a lot of time for the way he's played. He's got man of the match. Rice, Rayo, and Ben White. Excellent today. I think they've been the standout players. Is Martinelli gone? You've got the pace. This could be a goal. Martinelli saved at the near post. Good chance again. Really good chance that goalkeeper was already falling to the floor. Puts his arm up. Just smash it. Get rid of it, Saliba. Goes back to David Rea. All right, calm down. Two and a half minutes to go. I think those three have been the standout. Rice, Rail, Ben White. Two centre-backs have been solid. They've been the three standouts. Second half, Declan Rice been outstanding. Single pivot. So difficult. And, he, you know, after that Bayern Munich, the amount of running he had to do as well. Just keep the ball then. If you can't score, you keep the ball and just run the clock down. Two minutes left. It's Rice on the half turn. We're four against four, eh? Rice, go on. Hit it. Oh, have a surely Odegaard. Just, just, just shoot. Yeah! Get in! Martin Odegaard. Hey, man's doing one eye. Man's, man's doing half the Trossard celebration. Game, set and match to Arsenal. 2 0. Martin Odegaard with the goal. And that is it. Finally, we can relax. It's only took us nearly the whole game to take a breather.
Get in. What are you saying? Come on. 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. Oh, the God, job done. Get them all in there. What you got? You go Kai and Cruz. What are you saying? You can easy win. You got lucky. You got lucky. No, man. Lucky, bro. He's a Chelsea <laughs> fan at the end, by the way. That's why he's hating. These two are Arsenal fans. Arsenal. Awesome. Top, top of the league. Top of the league. Top of the league. If we'd have lost today, you'd have been doing the stream tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Arsenal therapy. I'd have given up. Big up. All right, go on then. Get, get out now. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Odegaard scores 2-0 game over three point collecting and we move well done Arteta we needed that we needed that I, I was actually about to go mad that he didn't shoot the first one look at David Raya look at the two centre backs big win this honestly big win do you know what I, I I do want to give um, that's his uh, that's his cousin and his best mate. Um, I do want to give credit to um, to Arsenal. They showed some they showed some character. I, I predicted two 0 You're right, Cope. Big up yourself. You know, it's always nice when you get the prediction right. I just realised I think Odegaard's in my fantasy team as well. So that's a double win. Um, just blow the whistle now, ref. Yes. Do you know what? I look back at it now and I'm like, we've gone to Wolves. And that's what I say. It sounds funny, don't it? Because 20 minutes before I'm saying, we can't find the second goal. We're not playing that well. But we're 2-0 up now. Game's basically done. Can we get a third? Rice. Oh, he should have slipped it. Martinelli. He's in. He's in. Martinelli could be offside. Martinelli. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. What is that? I think the defender might have got a foot to it. Game over. <laughs> Game set and match. Wolverhampton Wanderers, nil. Arsenal Football Club, two. We are back at the top of the league. We have shown some character. We have shown some fight. We have responded. It wasn't pretty. As Expressions calls it, Katie Hopkins Football. It was not a pretty painting, people, but we got the job done. I predicted 2-0. If you'd have offered me 2-0 before the game, I would have grabbed it and said, thank you very much. This game was not going to be pretty. Um, so, yeah, man, it was uh, it was job done. It was job done. Uh, get the likes up and subscribe. Yeah, man, let's get at least 3K likes. Versa Version said, big C, big up yourself. Uh, you don't do it enough. Tell us about your personal football career. I always wanted to know what you've been through and done. You know, I, I might do a, um, like some videos about it in the summer when the season's done because obviously you need content to talk about, man. And uh, like I said, my football journey was very different in the sense that I didn't have the glamour of Premier League four-year deals and big money. I had one-year deals and, you know, fighting to get a new contract and falling out with managers and having moves turned down and all that. So, yeah, I've got a very different angle of football in the pro game. Big up Arsenal, man. 2-0. Head loss. Oh, dear. Ah, look at the picture. That's got me ripping the shirt. Kindergarten Kurt. Hey, big up. Big up, man. Uh, Nicholas, big up for the super sticker. Christian's Gifted One, Curtis Shaw TV membership. Big up yourself, bro. Appreciate everyone locked in. 4,000 of you tuned in. MP said, what happened? I took a nap. Second goal right at the end, Odegaard near post. Literally, the ball came to him. Havertz, I thought, was going to shoot. He rolls it to Odegaard. Odegaard should have shot. He tries to pass it again. It's blocked and comes back to him. The goalkeeper, because he's kind of stumbled, he's left the near post wide open. And Odegaard's just rolled it in at the near post. Open goal, 2-0, game over. Latte, big up yourself, bro. For the rest of the season, if I see Kai Havertz in midfield, I'm locking it off. Not going to watch it. Fair play. It wasn't nice. Declan Rice, second half. He was the best player on the pitch, second half. I think David Rail, Ben White and Declan Rice were the best three players for us today. Saliba and Gabriel were solid. Declan Rice, second half. The leadership. And, and I'm not being disrespectful to Odegaard. It feels like... He's, I'm not going to say the captain without the armband, but the leadership is there and, you know, his quality. 
Mohammed, thank you very much, bro. 20 Curtis Shaw TV memberships gifted. Come on. We want more members. Big up the new 20 members. Um, welcome to the community, all of you. Big up to you, Mohammed, for gifting out those memberships. We're going to have plenty of new uh, members there. Really appreciate that. We're at 2K likes, just over 2K likes. Can we hit 3K? Um, I will have a fan cam out in the next 20 minutes. And... Um, could be a late night tonight, sporting night. I'll be watching um, the NBA playoffs, Knicks against the 76ers tonight. And uh, I'm going to try and stay up for the boxing. I just checked. It's on at 4 a.m. Um, Garcia against Haney. So, uh, yeah, it could be a late night tonight. Um, but big up to Mohammed gifting the memberships. 20 new members in the chat. Joda uh, says, see, I'm, I'm working at the Amex. I'll throw a pizza at Haaland. <laughs> Listen, man, give him his pre-match meal, you know, make him sick. Him and De Bruyne, we need to win at all costs. Big up to you. Guna Carlos Odegaard is our clear best player overall. He's the key to this team. He is the creative force. If he doesn't play well, we're struggling. I don't think he actually had a great game today, but he gets a goal and, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We need goals, assists. Um, we do not look dynamic. Um... I think I think Wednesday took a lot out of us. You go to a place like that, the Alliance, and they have a lot of the ball, and um, and you lose one nil. You spend most of the second half defending. Fatigue sometimes comes mentally. I say if you play a tough game and win, you don't often feel that tired because the energy and the adrenaline can carry you through. But when you go to a tough game and lose, it takes a lot out of you. You know, and we played on Wednesday. Um, they probably wouldn't have traveled back till Thursday. You'd have had a recovery session. Friday, you train, and then you travel, and you play. Wolves didn't play midweek. So, listen, my main thing about today, in what has been a very difficult week for Arsenal, is we did handle business today, and the boys deserve credit. Did we play great today? Not really, but I did say the result is bigger than the performance. If we play an exciting brand of football and draw the game, it doesn't matter. If you play like that and win, controlled, never really looked like conceding, scored late on, but we did the job. And I said, take it step by step. Walk before you can run, people. Walk before you can run. And that means win one game at a time. Desiree said, no one is complaining of the lineup with Jesus and Havertz because we won. See how fast they were. Jesus running around like a lost child. Is Arteta so stubborn? Yeah, the lineup didn't work perfectly in attack, in my opinion. Pat said, been following you since at least 2019, Big C. Great stream, great content. Appreciate what you do. Up the Arsenal. Let's swim the league. Win the league, I think you said, but swim. See you on Tuesday. Much love. Big up to you, bro, and happy birthday. Big up. Big up everyone locked in. Listen, it's an emotional roller coaster watching Arsenal. It's not easy. I said at the start of the game, I, 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 I thank you for all of you for just turning up. Because as I said on um, on Monday, I can understand any Arsenal fan that needs a break from Arsenal. It's, it's draining at when we can get them. Big up Ryan Vaughan with the super sticker. Big up DJ Jamo. Big up Curtis. Love your channel. Really appreciate that. Um, De De Devo letting. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> He got more head than he got. But, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that in the film. You're going back to the film. Um, Arteta has something against Trossard. Clear bias. He's also throwing away Eddie. Throwing away Eddie is something I don't have a particular problem with. He's not good enough to play for Arsenal. Trossard seems to be an easy option to take off. He was probably signed with the conversation that you're going to be a squad player. So he drags him off rather than taking off Havertz. Mohamed, big up, bro. He said confidence was low. We got the three points and we keep moving on to the next. Jerome says, big up, big C and the Ute Dem. Come on, you gunners. Thanks to whoever gifted me the membership. It would have been Mohamed who gifted 20. Big up, Jerome. Um, and get here, his cheeks, bon him. Come on, you gunners, gang. And uh, listen, we got the three points we collected, and that's all that matters. As always, let's look at the Premier League table. And it's a pretty sight. It is a pretty sight. And uh, we're where we rightfully 
should be, and as 50, and let, let me refresh that because I'm pretty sure. All right, the goal difference is up. As 50 Cent once famously said, oh, the tap feels so much better than the bottom. So much better. Jai, you a window sharper. Mad at me. I think I know why. Uh, Dud Pistachio said, was watching on Twitch. Back to winning ways. Added some of my tracksuits to my YouTube shorts. The PS5 dog hit. Uh, do it. Honestly, I will get back to you. I know. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why. I will sort it out. He's got a clothing brand. He wants to send some merch. And uh, we're going to hopefully do a giveaway on the channel as well. Um, top of the league. Top of the league and 10 goals clear of Liverpool and seven goals clear of Manchester City. Five games to go. Step by step. It's as simple as that. What we can't do is get too ahead of ourselves. Um, enjoy the win. Praise the team. I think the team deserves a lot of credit today. And listen, I'll be totally honest. The game was boring for a lot of the 90 minutes. Um... But ultimately, Wall uh, Wallinu. Well, well, we did make it look like Wallinu. Uh, Molinu is a difficult place to go. Man City lost it. Man City lost at Molinu. And um, if we'd have drawn that game, our season would have been over. There was a lot of pressure on that team today. I know the game was very laid back, but there was a huge amount of pressure on us. And um, I'm very pleased with the team today. Very pleased. Um, do I think we picked the right team? Probably not. Um, and he's going to need to get the team selection correct against Chelsea and Tottenham. Even though Chelsea have not been good this season, they're considerably better than Wolves. And they've got good players, you know, who can cause you problems. And then obviously Tottenham. So um, it's a quick turnaround as well. We play on Tuesday. A couple of days off and then back to back to it. So... Obviously, Man City don't play in the league until, I think, Thursday, is it? Um, so, listen, we did all we could do today. We did all we could do today. It wasn't, um, it wasn't pretty, but it was what it was. You know, it was like beans on toast for dinner. It's not really what you want, but at least you didn't go to bed hungry that night. Um, it was a beans on toast performance, so... I wouldn't even say there was cheese on it because beans on toast with melted cheese becomes, you know, a top quality meal. Not for dinner, perhaps, but as a lunch or something. But I would say it was beans on toast without the melted cheese. It did the job, but it wasn't pretty. Um, but, hey, this week, man, is, is going to be season defining. If Arsenal can get through this week with two victories, and by that I mean beat Chelsea, beat Tottenham, I think all of a sudden we're right back in it because this is our hardest run of these next six games is this week. I know we'd still have Man United away, but having to play Chelsea and Tottenham in the same week is the hardest part of that running that we've got. Um, but the question will always be, who are Man City going to drop points against? And ultimately, we need Man City to drop points. If you look at Man City's fixtures, their next two games are Brighton away and Forest away. Well, I think they drew both of them games last season. Can you get something out of that? A draw, put some pressure on them. They got Fulham away and Tottenham away as well. So I think City might draw one of them games, but I honestly believe the only way we capitalise is by winning the next five. I don't think we can draw. We certainly can't lose. It has to be five out of five to have any opportunity. So, listen, the game wasn't pretty, but we're top. We're where we want to be, and we keep it moving, and we look forward to uh, the week. And, uh, listen, people say it's opium, but I'm not... The thing with me, I'm not going to just be critical before it happens. I'm critical when it happens. As you've seen, the last week, I've, I've, I've blown, you know, the head's exploded, bro. Like a firework shooting out. But they showed a lot of, you know, fight today. They were under a lot of pressure. They knew they were under pressure. And they won the game. So, listen, fair play to them. 2-0 win. Clean sheet, tick it off. You don't really want to watch the highlights. You don't really want to watch match of the day. We won the game. I, I think David Raya today deserves a lot of credit. I've been a little bit critical of him, saying that I'm not sure he's a, a, a title-winning goalkeeper. But I thought today was excellent. 
made a fantastic save in the first half. Um, I thought Ben White had a really good game. Um, some of his passes to Saka were really, really good. Defended well. And Declan Rice, second half, was absolutely superb. You know, he's the best player on the pitch second half. So, fair play to him with the amount of running he gets through. Mohamed said, confidence was low. We got the three points. We keep moving to the next. Big up, bro. It's all about the win. Uh, and then, what was the next one? Sam has, I hope Arteta has a plan for the last five. Brought in part A and Rice was free and more attacking. Do you know what? That point is absolutely nailed on what you've said there. Nailed on. If you look at the last 10 minutes of that game... Declan Rice driving runs through the midfield actually helps us score the second goal. Why? Because Thomas Partey's on the pitch. When Thomas Partey's sitting in the DM role, Declan Rice can go and run forward because he knows he's got a powerhouse behind him. May not be as mobile as he was, but he's calm on the ball and he's powerful. When you've got Jorginho there at 32 who can't run, he's probably having to stay next to him because you don't want Jorginho defending. He'll get out, ran out, manoeuvred. So I just think you've got to get Declan Rice and Thomas Partey in the double pivot, especially away at Tottenham, away from home. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, we will see. Um, we did the job. We won the game. We're top of the league and we keep it moving. I want to say a big thank you to uh, the community. Really appreciate the support. Still over 4,000 of you locked in. Hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, road to 100k. Fan cam will be out in about 20 minutes. Listen, it's not the most exciting game. There won't be a lot to say, but we'll get that out if you want a bit of post-game reaction. Um, the goal reactions will be on tw on uh, TikTok, Curtis Shaw TV. If you're on TikTok, follow that account. And uh, I'll be back. I'll be back on Monday, 2 p.m. for a review. We might get a pre-recorded video out tomorrow. Um, enjoy your Saturday. Arsenal won 2-0. It wasn't pretty, but we're back. We're top of the league. Step by step, let's keep winning. Take care, everyone. Bless.